All right. Let's do this. I'm back. It's going to sh start shortly. Shortly, shortly, shortly. All right. Finally, I got my power back. Um, this lightning, man, this thunderstorm was just terrible. What's up, Zach? How you doing, bro? Yeah, dude. This this weather's not helping, <clears throat> and this damn flu's not helping either. All right, welcome back everyone. How you guys doing? Yeah, finally got my power back, so uh, I figured we gotta finish this. We have to, uh, we have to do this. We have to finish it. So I figured let's uh, go ahead and uh, let's watch the C3 show together, and let's see what they bring us here on the C3 show. I have my, you know, opinions about it. Like I said. Uh, I want them to bring something really, really great. You know, I at least want to see one game, at least one game, with a uh, fresh new uh, IP. You know, like something that has like really good gameplay, a good story. Uh, I don't want the mediocre uh, exclusive game. I don't want the platformer. I want something that's like really intriguing. You know, that's what that's what I want to see. Can Microsoft deliver something on that? I don't know, man. Um, we'll see. I mean, they do have Crytek. They do have uh, Ninja Theory. And those two companies, Crytek and Ninja Theory, you know, they should be able to work together, merge together to create something, like, super awesome. You know, even if it's a technical demo, I don't care. Like, at least show me something where I can see, hey, you know, you guys... Are working on something you guys are uh, putting the effort to bring something really cool and I think that's all we want we don't want uh, the game to come out this year or next year we don't care if it's 2021 2022 but at least show us the future show us what you're working on that's what we want some some window of hope so we can say hey you know there's a reason why you're gonna be purchasing that anaconda you know there's a reason why you're gonna have that Two different types of consoles to uh, play a certain exclusive that'll be only available on the, uh, the Microsoft. Hey, Legions, hey, Smooth, how you doing? Yeah, just hope for the best. You know, I mean, what can we do, right? We can only hope for the best. Um, I mean, Phil Spencer, uh, he he knows what's going on. I don't think he's blind. To what people want I'm sure he heard the messages loud and clear on his Twitter page on his Xbox live I'm sure he has heard the feedback so can he deliver well you guys have to remember uh, he's been busy past the past year he's been traveling he was in Africa he was in in Latin America he was in Asia he was in Japan he was out there you know pulling some strings so we'll see, we'll see what happens. And he's been very quiet about it, you know, for for the right reasons. What's up, Dave? Hey, Ibrahim, how you doing, Ibrahim? Good to see you. How are you, man? Uh, I got my uh, my coconut coconut coffee. Hopefully, it's gonna help. God, I hate being sick. You know, people say, "Oh, call in sick." It's good when you call in sick and you lie. And you do something else. But when you're really, really sick, it sucks, dude. It just fucking sucks. It sucks big time, man. How much the Xbox and Iconda powerful? Well, it should be more powerful than PC. 
will have more teraflops. I mean, not the PC, I'm sorry, than PlayStation 5. Uh, it's going to have more teraflops than PlayStation 5. But they're both using AMD. They're, they're both AMD uh, manufactured GPUs. Uh, so GPU, CPU that they're using from AMD. Uh, you know, the difference is going to be, I guess, uh, the performance. But graphically, they should all pretty much look identical, I think, in my opinion. But again, I, I want to point something out. What have we learned from two years ago? PlayStation 4 Pro, it's downpowered, and the Xbox One X is more powerful than the PlayStation 4 Pro. And what have we learned from Sony? Here we are. Sony, it's able to bring even with a downpowered console that it's not even more powerful than the Xbox One X they were able to bring us these awesome exclusives like Spider-Man, God of War uh, and even Death Stranding this year so that shows and proves that it's not all about the power it's not all about how much power you have it's about what type of experience can you bring with that power that you have and I think that's the important part that I think Microsoft has forgotten in the past two three years in past four or five years that they have forgotten about that important aspect that is the experience yes they did bring us some experience they brought crackdown 3 they brought uh, state of decay 2 they brought forza horizon 4 sea of thieves there's something there halo master chief collection right but that's not enough gears gears 4 but still that's not enough you got to bring new fresh ips you got to bring something out there that you can tell Sony, look, look what we have. This is only available on the Xbox. This is brand new, a brand new genre, if you will, uh, a brand new franchise. Like you got to bring that experience, man, you know, and I felt when I criticized Microsoft, I felt that I was criticizing them because I want them to do better because I want them to bring a better experience, you know. And that's how I feel. But also, let's step back. Let's step back and let's look at this honestly, guys. I think I mentioned this on my previous video. I said, Phil Spencer inherited a mess, guys. He inherited the worst mess in 2013. From the Xbox One Kinect DVR uh, cable box. He inherited a big gigantic mess. So it took a while for him to, to gather together with all these uh, CEOs and, and, and people on the board for the Xbox brand, try to uh, figure out what can we do, go to the drawing board, what should we, we, we do, should we get rid of Kinect, should we do make another console, smaller console, should we put the 4K player, there was a lot of different things that, that Phil Spencer had to do and it took a while, it took five years for him to finally step back into the footing and I think right now in 2019 I think Phil Spencer got everything arranged you know from cross platforms PC from Xbox Cloud I think right now Phil Spencer got a good footing into what he wants to achieve into his vision his vision is to let you choose how you want to play where you want to play and how you want to play it. now the next step the next step is bringing those exclusives that's the next step he's got all of this other stuff put in place the xbox cloud the uh, xbox one s xbox one x anaconda lockhart all of it it's put into that web or into that halo okay now the next step is bringing those exclusives and i think that's what we're going to see in about 13 minutes that's that's how I feel let me see I know I do the 4k picture quality looks good thank you us move appreciate it this is directly from the Xbox one X directly from the uh, uh, the Xbox e3 show so I'm directly connected through them with 4k through mixer directly to 4k i'm putting it in 4k they're putting in 4k so you guys are gonna be watching 4k 4k it's all gonna be 4k or maybe double 4k maybe this is 8k this is me upscaling 4k with 4k no it's not 8k 
it would be more like uh, you know 5k or some shit like that <laughs> upscaled to 5k but it's gonna look sharp regardless it's gonna look really sharp and it should look sharp uh, hello uh, Ervo guten tag guten tag uh, from Germany Uncle Phil thank you Uncle Phil man I appreciate that I know you guys are watching man I know that I appreciate you guys look man I know I'm not perfect I know sometimes I, I go off the rails you know and I don't want to be that guy you know uh, I hate myself for being that person sometimes I let the trolls get to me you know they poke me and and then you know I rage out and then I hurt other people's feelings that I shouldn't have so I'm not perfect and, and I hate being that guy I think I mentioned that many times you know I, I like to put that guy somewhere out there lock him up and just leave him there because I don't want to be that beast you know I like to be who I really am is you know genuinely honest with you guys you know and I appreciate every single one of you but I'm not perfect you know I have my own demons believe me guys I have my own demons I have to fight you know at least I can be honest about it <clears throat> now I don't want to scare you I'm not like split I'm not like James McAvoy in split movie okay but I do have some demons that I have to battle just like everybody else yeah. um let's see what we got I'm getting the Xbox One X I love legions I love the 360 I love the 360 I bought at least 12 different Xbox 360s due to the uh, red ring of death but I didn't even care that it had that red ring of death because I love the Xbox live experience it's the best online experience I love the Xbox 360 and I didn't mind spending money buying a bunch of different uh, uh, Xbox 360 consoles I still have uh, one I have it you know what I gotta do a video on it you know what what the hell mr. Forky what's wrong with you this week I'm doing the Xbox 360 video I'm gonna plug it in I'm doing that video I don't care I'm gonna plug it in guys to the OLED I'm doing it I'm doing it that's it it's gonna happen um, I should have done that video so yeah I love Xbox 360 um, Ibrahim says are you expecting to see new games just like the last of us on PlayStation 4 Yes, Ibrahim, I want to see a teaser, a technical demo teaser from Ninja Theory and from Crytek and from Rare. I want to see something from Rare, from Rare, you know, something really cool from Rare, other than just uh, Sea of Thieves. Uncle Phil, see what the Uncle Phil says. Getting the Xbox One X for the first time. Listen, Uncle Phil, the Xbox One X, let me tell you, this is the best... 4k machine out of all the machines brother if you are looking to buy a 4k television get yourself a Samsung Q8FN with the Xbox One X it's like perfect match in heaven to have Xbox One X and Samsung Q8FN but the Xbox One X it's the ultimate uh, 4k machine this is the best 4k machine dude it does the streaming in 4k it, it does the HDR picture uh, you can take picture shots in 4k HDR it does the uh, Dolby Vision as well uh, this is the ultimate 4k machine the Xbox one X I mean I'm, I'm just gonna tell you like it is yeah this is it crisis for anaconda <laughs> you know what that would be awesome imagine how cool that would be if they only bring crisis 4 to the xbox no 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 check this out check this out guys check no 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 check this out crisis 4 cross-platform on xbox anaconda and pc so you get to play it on both anaconda and your pc holy shit man oh my god let's make it happen come on let's do this let's make it happen uh, Daniel, how you doing, Daniel? Q9FNs, listen, Q9FN, it's awesome with over 400 local dimming zones and the peak brightness that reaches close to 2000 nits. Q9FN for a 65 inch Q9FN, oh my god. And then you buy the uh, Xbox Anaconda or Xbox One X, dude, you are like, uh, you're set. Q9FN, it's just a great looking TV. Uh, my mistake is I should have never I, I felt like I should have gone with the Q9 FN instead of Q8 FN 
I now I regret that I didn't go with the Q9F inch 65 inch uh, I should have done you know what maybe this holiday season maybe I will be able to get a Q9F in and you know for like a really really dirt cheap price for like 2000 or something or 1800 yeah Q9F is a kick-ass TV I don't care what anybody says Q9F and still kicks ass give me a break it's still a, it's a great I don't people say oh but I don't care about the Q90 let me tell you Q9FN, if you can buy it for like a really good price, buy it. It's a kick-ass 4K HDR TV. Yes, I know it doesn't have a Dolby Vision, fine, but it's still you're gonna have that kick-ass HDR, like kick-ass HDR. Q9FN, man, it's awesome. No, I mean really, guys, it's a freaking awesome TV. Yeah, you should, Daniel, man. Trust me, you will not be disappointed with the uh, HDR. The HDR. You will not be disappointed, man. Trust me when I tell you, dude. You will not be disappointed with the uh, HDR on the uh, Samsung Q9F. And that TV is just amazing, man. So, seven more minutes, and then we go. Lift off. But I don't think they're going to call it Anaconda. I just want to let everybody else let let you guys know I don't think they're gonna call it Anaconda they're gonna call it um, probably project Anaconda but it's gonna be Xbox 2 because uh, just calling it an Anaconda is just kind of like eh. you know there's gonna be some bunch of sexual remarks on it you know you know how people are they're gonna say oh what is this like the big dick or something you know Anaconda why are you calling it Anaconda you know you know people are gonna use a uh, bunch of remarks for, for the for the exploiting sexuality and shit like that you know how people are especially kids these days and they're like eh, anaconda big dick whatever you know you know people have dirty minds man what are you gonna do uh just the way it is uh so they're not gonna call it uh them showing you the hardware on this e3 show i think they will show the hardware and the sales uh when they're gonna put it on sale next year probably in august when they go to Germany for the, the Gamescon or whatever they call it, Gamescon, right, in Germany. And I think in Germany they're going to show the console. X2, yes, X2. I like it. Sounds like uh, something that uh, Wolverine, Hugh Jackman should advertise. No, really, Hugh Jackman should advertise the Xbox 2. Hire the Hugh Jackman, let him advertise it, let him use his claws. X2. No, no. Ryan Reynolds, Deadpool, and Wolverine both uh, advertising the X2. X2 marks the spot. Let's do it. <clears throat> no, it'd be awesome, man. You see, I'm already giving them, uh, uh, pitching the ideas, man. They should hire me as like a consultant. I got so many great ideas for them, man, that you can do. <clears throat> Aren't monitors better for gaming? Yes, Uncle Phil. They are good for the performance, but if you truly want the quality, you gotta go with a television. You know, because the monitor cannot achieve what the television can achieve in terms of high peak brightness, in, tr in terms of a bigger size. Uh, so, you know, television is the television. You know. But if you want the best performance out of your television, Q9FN will do that. Q90 will do that, for sure. And even right now with the Q8F, and I got a phenomenal performance playing uh, the Xbox. Uh, a lot of people ask me, do you game a lot on your OLED? Well, here's the, I'm getting out of the closet. No, actually, I don't game game that much on the OLED. I usually game on my Q8FN. I only use the OLED for the movies. I only watch the movies on the OLED. When it comes to gaming, Samsung Q8FN. All the way Samsung, brother. Thank you, franchise. Yeah, man, I've been I've been drinking some um, <clears throat> what do you call this? Uh, some coconut tea or whatever they call it. I don't know. Naomi, I'm an old snake. Uh. <laughs> Where are you, Naomi? Where is that cocktail that you promised? I don't see it around here. She left me for liquid. <laughs> but do I want the Dolby Vision? Well, of course, you know, 
I want the Dolby Vision on Samsung, and it, it, it's sad. It's it's really I don't understand why Samsung doesn't uh, partner up with Dolby Laboratories and put the Dolby Vision in there. I think on Q90, the Dolby Vision would be perfect. Like would be perfect. Seriously, I I just don't don't get it. Why they don't? What better TV than Samsung to utilize Dolby? Uh, vision. I just, I don't know. I, I wish I could sit down with uh, Samsung executives and ask them this question: like, what's stopping you guys? What's putting on the brakes for you to utilize Dolby Vision on Samsung? I mean, why is this a big deal? I mean, do you guys have like a beef with Dolby, or you guys want to do your own thing? So, I don't know. I think it was the HDR Plus, but the HDR Plus it's like nowhere to be seen. Um, yeah, I think Samsung needs to go and make a deal with Adobe. Bring the Dolby Vision, man. Come on. Yeah. Thank you, gamer. Appreciate it. Oh, that's awesome franchise. Uh, but you're you're in Texas, right? You're in, uh, in in Central Time, Texas. I'm here in the East Coast, and I know I have some people from the Pacific, and then we got some people from the UK. United Kingdom so in the United Kingdom it's almost nine o'clock right <clears throat> so here we go one minute one minute and uh, nine seconds perfect dark yeah I would love to see perfect dark that'd be awesome dude I want to see a remastered perfect dark don't forget the the halo master chief collection it's coming exclusively to uh, PC well, not exclusively to PC, but it's coming to PC for the first time. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Are you ready? Are you guys ready? I'm going to have to shut up here for a minute. Here we go. Some John Wick music around here. Here we go. All right, Larry Herb. Come on, Larry Herb. You don't have to fix your hair, dude. Your hair is fine. It's gray. We got it. It's all right. No one cares, dude. Just let's get on with it. Come on, Larry Herb. Hey, what's up? Mr. Food Dip. But yeah, Halo Master Chief Collection. It's coming on PC this September. All right, here we go. See that halo did you see a little glimpse of halo oh my god did you guys see that man this is great logo hell yeah it's like Marvel all right let's let's watch <clears throat> the corporate model is the oldest and most efficient structure history has ever shown us scheduled scarcity is a premium feature of colonial life the colony must never lose faith that is what the board provides. Security in a senseless and chaotic world. This is Halcyon, the furthest colony in the galaxy. Proudly owned and operated by corporations. Everything we have, everything we are, 
we owe to them. They are always with us. No one has ever gone against them. But a stranger has just arrived. Someone who's challenging the corporate board. Someone who's digging up their secrets. Have you ever been at the wrong place at the wrong time? Someone who could be a villain or a hero. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Here, hope this gun serves you better than it did me. Or a psychopath. Oh. Did you ever think you'd end up like that? My time to shine. You can play this game right now on the Game Pass. Good luck. I suppose time will tell. No, when, when, when it launches, no I'm sorry. You can play this game when it be, launches on the Game Pass. Halcyon Colony <laughs> will never be the same. This is an exclusive game, by the way. The Outer Worlds looks fucking awesome, dude. Love it. Love it. The Outer Worlds October. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. October 25th. Hell yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Danger Close. He's welcome. From Ninja Theory, Ronnie Tucker. Dude, October 25th. And it's going to be free on, on, a, on, on a Game Pass. Oh, my God. October 25th. Hell yeah. Dude, can't wait. The, uh, oh man, it's gonna be At awesome. At E3 2018, we announced that Ninja Theory had joined Xbox Game Studios, a move that has given us an incredible boost in achieving the creative ambition of our teams. We've started work on a number of new games at the studio, and in the near future, we'll be sharing details on all of these projects. When we joined Xbox Game Studios, we already had a very exciting game several years in the making. And we're happy to return to E3 to share this with you. As creative director, I'm stoked to be here to share our new game with you guys. It combines know, two Luke. of my gaming passions, <laughs> yeah, third-person action combat and competitive team multiplayer. Our technical alpha is kicking off in just a couple of weeks, and we'd love for you to sign up, get involved, and tell us what you think. Or if you're here at E3, come and join us for a game. I really... <laughs> I really hope you guys like it. Check it out. This is Bleeding Edge. Hell yeah, Bleeding Edge is doing it. Yeah. It's a lot of fun, dude. I like this already. I'm gonna have a lot of fun in the multiplayer with the Bleeding Edge, dude. But there's already a game coming out this October 25th, man. Exclusive RPG game, open world, man. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to uh, Crytek. I want to see what the Crytek's gonna bring. Bleeding Edge looks pretty good, man. And it's all on Game Pass, bro. It's all on Game Pass. It's it's part of the Game Pass. <laughs> I 
I think you'd be able to create your own character, I think. <clears throat> hey, uh, franchise, could you, uh, like, explain to everyone what uh, Ultimate Game Pass consists of? Thanks, man, I appreciate that. adventure game. It's like a Zelda, but like a platformer Zelda. Ori. Hey, we already have two exclusives. Two exclusives this year. Gears 5 and the other one, the outer uh, something. The outer wildlands, or they call it. October 25th. There's already two exclusives including Gears 5. Not bad, not bad at all. I like this, I like what they're doing. Minecraft in 4K, hell yeah, I've always wanted that. No, really, I want the Minecraft in 4K, seriously, I'm looking forward to it. Outer World, yeah, the Outer World, I'm looking for that, October 25th. The only thing I don't like, it's, it's the same release date as Modern Warfare, like October 25th, but cool, man, that's awesome. I'm really surprised that they're releasing it October 25th, that's awesome, dude, it's a very nice surprise that they're releasing the, uh, the Outer World this October 25th. And September, they're re releasing the gears. Looks good, though. No, this. Okay. I, no, I, I'm I'm getting into this, man. Seriously, Minecraft. I'm getting into it. This is perfect time for me to get into the Minecraft now. Next year. Please welcome the head of Xbox. All right, let's, let's see what he has to say. Team Xbox live for this exact moment. The moment we get to share the best of our art form here with you in LA. And the moment you get to experience breathtaking new stories, new worlds, and new heroes for the very first time. This moment isn't just about finding some new games, it's about discovering your new games. This decisive moment of discovery is etched in your gaming history, alongside your every achievement, your every moment, your every new friend. This is why we on Team Xbox are always and will be dedicated to unleashing the next new games for you to discover and love. So whether you're one of the thousands with us here in Microsoft Theater, or one of the billions around the world who play games, welcome to E3 2019. All right. <clears throat> this right now is the single most creative and energizing time in gaming history. Games and gamers together now have the sheer magnitude to be a significant unifying force for the world. 
the expanding universe of gaming has opened a new era of creative possibility. With more games, more creators, and more industry players than ever before. And gamers were everywhere. In under two decades, the number of players in the world has more than tripled. Over two billion of us now play games in every region and on every continent. That's crazy. And with new technological leaps, we get to play whatever we want, with whomever we want, and wherever we want. He's referring to Xbox Cloud as well. On Team Xbox, every decision is guided by our belief that gaming is for everyone. My team and I are single-minded in our resolve to bring everyone the games they want, to connect everyone to play with the friends they want, and to empower everyone to play wherever they want. This is why we keep innovating hardware and services. It's why we're uniting communities through crossplay, and why, it's why we're investing with new distinctive creators. Above all, gaming is for you. This is why we scour the world for your next new games. This today is the largest showcase of games on any stage, anywhere this year. All right, all right. Today, from the thousands of games in development across Xbox One and Windows PC, we're highlighting 60 games for you. Whoa. Including 14 games from Xbox Game Studios and over 30 games premiering in Xbox Game Pass. Plenty of reason to buy Xbox now. In addition to showcasing all of these games over the show, we'll also announce what's next at Xbox Game Studios. That's true, uh, Anthony. Sharing our expansive plans for streaming, and of course, revealing more about our next new console. Yes! So thank you for joining us today. Let's jump in. Hell yeah. Finally, Phil Spencer's back. That's the new Star Wars game. This is in-game uh, engine gameplay. Holy shit! Hey, who are you? Got a name? Cal Kestis. Sogarero. I'm here on Jedi business. Jedi are dead. Not all of them. A Jedi. Electronic electronic arts finally got it. Yeah, the respawn. The Jedi. I don't think so. This is a uh, cross-platform. Hope is not yet lost. The Jedi fallen order. Looks good, man. Yeah, I'm okay. You all right? No, we are not doing that again. November 15th. World premiere. <laughs> wow. Holy shit, look at this. <laughs> Oh my god. What the? Peter's 
Shannon, a nine-year-old boy, went missing on Saturday. This afternoon, the authorities are organizing a search in the Black Hills Forest. Okay, Bullet. Hell in the way? Let's find this kid. Wait up, Bullet! Bullet! Oh my god. This is part of the game pass as well. All of this is part of the game pass. All of these new releases. Evil Dead? Oh my god. This is in-game engine, bro. Imagine this on Project um, Anaconda. Oh my god. Holy shit. Look at the graphics. Okay, Bullet. Let's find this kid. Evil dead. Blair Witch! Oh my god, dude. I'm pre-ordering this shit. Oh my god, it's exclusive. The Blair Witch looks fucking awesome. This is Cyberpunk. Guys, I'm super fucking impressed with Blair Witch. I'm serious. One game, one game I'm picking up for the Anaconda is the Blair Witch. Are you alone? I just want the money. You got the chip? All right, start her up, bug. Why don't you go to the bathroom, wash up? We gonna be with you in a minute. Wow. Oh, come on, man. Your neck, it's a mess. While hotel security has yet to comment, we do know the suspect seems to have fled the scene. Wow, look at the graphics. Jesus. Anaconda, I can feel you. <laughs> Initiating combat mode. Go! Destination confirmed. Woo That's what I'm talking about! Alright! In and out! We're rich! Oh, we are going to the major leagues, Jack! Right. <laughs> Jack? Oh, oh Get to a clinic now. Mr. Wells' condition is critical. Go! Immediate medical help okay. is required. Just, just hold on. Just, oh. Hey, hey, just think about all the good <laughs> that we're gonna have, huh? I'm sorry. Wow, dude. This is insane. Yeah, yeah. Just take the f chip decks. Every corporal cop in this city is gonna be blasting down these doors after what you and your psycho friend did. We didn't need all this tension, damn it.
Hey, add this high cox stream up. While it didn't. Wake the f up, samurai. We have a city to burn. John Wick! Oh shit! Oh shit! John Wick in the house! Oh, oh, oh. oh shit, John Wick's here! Oh my god. Please welcome Keanu Reeves. Oh shit. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> oh shit. Hello Los Angeles! E3! <laughs> yeah. Alright. Good to see you. Thank you. Alright. Alright. I gotta talk to you about something. <laughs> I mean, we gotta talk to you about something. CD Project Red. Cyberpunk 2077. All right. A while back, the guys from CD Project Red approached me and asked me to be a part of their new project, Cyberpunk 2077. They were going on and on about how they'd create this vast open world with a branching storyline, how you'd be able to customize your character through in-game choices. And it's not something I knew before, but I was excited by. And I'm always drawn to fascinating stories. Yeah. Yeah. Cyberpunk. <laughs> yeah. Is set in a metropolis of the future where body modification has become an obsession. You play as an outlaw, an enhanced mercenary working in the sleazy underbelly of the city. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but let me tell you, the feeling of, of being there, of walking the streets of the future, is really going to be breathtaking. <laughs> You're all breathtaking. Franchise, you brought him right, in. All right, all right. So, I guess I gotta finish this. So tell me, <laughs> do you guys want to know um, when there's uh, when it, the release date? Yes, yes. Yeah. All right. Then check this out. Ready now? Fucking a. Mr. Hansen, am I right for the job? Okay, I'm in. You have gone through to the other side. Let's do this. Hell yeah, April 16, 2020. Yeah. Yes. World premiere. Dude, April 16th, just right around the corner where my birthday is, bro. Perfect birthday fucking gift. Thank you, Keanu Reeves. Thank you, CD Projekt Red. Perfect fucking birthday gift. Hell fucking yeah. April 16th, 2020. Dude, I'm so pumped now, man. Oh my fucking god. This is gonna be insanity. With the, the, Dude, so many games are now coming. This is gonna be insane. <sighs> the Blair Witch also blew me away, dude. The Blair Witch. Oh, that shit looks so good. And it's gonna look even more insane on the Anaconda console. Oh. Imagine how sick. That's probably from Anaconda. What we were looking at is probably the Anaconda running their shit at 60 FPS in 4K. With all the textures and the real time ray tracing. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh, dude.
that's it cyberpunk man so I'm gonna be busy playing Death Stranding from November all the way till April 16th and once April 16th comes in then cyberpunk that's it after that Oh, you missed it, man. Sportsman Dan, you missed the, uh, uh, what you call it, that scary game, dude. The first person scary game looks awesome. <clears throat> the Blair Witch, dude. The Blair Witch looks uh, uh, sick, bro. The Blair Witch, that shit looks sick. Ch uh, check out the trailer for the Blair Witch. Oh, my goodness, man. And the other world looks freaking amazing too, man. That's coming out on uh, October. But the Blair Witch, that shit looks so real, man. That's what I want. I want that kind of experience. First person experience. Where you can switch back between the first person and then a third person. And it looks so scary, dude. That shit looks fucking amazing. Blair Witch. Oh yeah, Blair Witch just looks fucking sick. Hey Dom, how you doing, man? These are independent games and all that stuff. Um, but hey, I'm so excited the fact that on the April 16th they're going to release a side of all the And you guys know. I'll be playing the Cyberpunk on the Xbox One X. Don't blame me. That's why I have Xbox One X. So I can play the Cyberpunk on the Xbox One X. With a native 4K, and I don't care if it's 30 FPS, that's fine. Native 4K, 30 FPS, is fine with that. Um, dude, I can't fucking wait. Can't wait. Oh, the PC, dude. I'm, you're gonna need a. I'm gonna need a, an extra 2080 Ti. Dude, I'll need two 2080 Ti's just for that son of a bitch. <laughs> but I think I should be able to, to manage 4K60 with a 2080 Ti for a forward to win three. I'm doing great, Snoozer. How you doing, brother? I'm doing, I'm doing better, man. You know. That's it, my medicine is here. John Wick showed up and gave me the medicine, I'm good to go. That's it, bro. The fact that he's gonna be in Cyberpunk is like fucking A, man. Like super stoked to see uh, Keanu Reeves in uh, Cyberpunk. I was like, hell yeah. No, really, I fuck yeah, dude. That's a fucking pop. <laughs> Yes, the Outer Worlds are coming uh, October 25th this year. So October 25th, you got the Outer Worlds. Looks an awesome RPG open world. Way better than Rage. Okay, forget the Rage. And then you got uh, the Gears. Gears 5, so that's two extra. That's two exclusives you got coming out. Uh, not, not far from now. Good to see you too, Dom. I know I haven't seen you in a long time. It's been a while. But the Blair Witch for the Anaconda. Oh. oh my fucking god. Did you guys see my reaction? Did you see my fucking reaction on the uh, the Blair Witch? Holy fuck. Oh. It was not CGI. It was in-game engine. And they were showing you what fucking Anaconda can do. It was fucking unbelievable. Guys, watch the goddamn trailer. Watch the Blair Witch. Do it now. Please welcome head of Xbox partnerships, Sarah Bond. This my PlayStation. I'll do a PlayStation when they do a PlayStation experience, of course. All the ID at Xbox games you just saw will premiere on Xbox Game Pass day one. Yes. She's really hot At today. Xbox, our passion is to help you find and play the games that you love. 
through creation, curation, and discovery. The ultimate expression of that passion is Xbox Game Pass. My team travels the globe, seeking out fan favorites and hidden gems, and crafts partnerships with their creators so that you can discover your next favorite Can game. I be part of your team, please? Let me travel with you. I'll, I'll hold your luggage. I don't care. Just let me travel with you. All for you to explore. <laughs> It has been awesome to see she's hot, the record-breaking success she's hot. developers I mean, have had yeah. in Xbox Game Pass. I'm sorry, introducing she's their hot. games to new players and creating help lifelong. It. I'm a fans. man, goddammit. Since launch, we have tripled the number of partners in Game Pass, adding What's more up, games from more genres: platformers, RPG, adventure, sports, puzzles, and more every single month. And of course. Every Xbox Game Studios title you see today will premiere in Game Pass day one. This is why the Game Pass has a great value, you guys. Think about the value we that you're getting. Listen to what to she's saying. New titles coming to Xbox Game Pass on console today, including Batman Arkham Knight. Yes! Metro Exodus. Oh! <laughs> Hollow Knight. Borderlands, the handsome collection. Not bad, man. The Arkham Knight and the Exodus. Holy Amazing shit. Amazing games that you can start playing today. Nice. Not to mention the backward compatible games, too. Our mission at Xbox is for you to be able to play any game with anyone, anywhere. And we know for many of you that means PC. That is why <laughs> last month we announced Xbox Game Pass for PC. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Today, the Game Pass journey on PC begins. Wow. Now, Damn. PC players can discover their next favorite game with Xbox Game Pass. We have curated over 100 games just for PC, including favorites like Emperor Rome and Football Manager 2019. And the Master Chief Collection. And for the first time on PC, starting with Halo Reach, the entire Master Chief Collection. That's right. That's right. We are thrilled to share that Xbox Game Pass for PC launches in open beta today. Yes. I gotta make a video about this tomorrow, goddammit. Alright, Microsoft, you're impressing the fuck out of me. This is what I want to see. This is what I want to see. This is what I want to see. Yes, Microsoft. Yes! You listen to me. No, you listen to all of us, goddammit. They listen to us. All of us. And let's be honest. Let's let's give a credit to Phil Spencer. You know, if he wasn't a part of this, I, I don't know which uh, kind of Xbox brand we would be in. Thanks to Phil Spencer, he really put a hard work to bring all this experience to us. Dude, playing Master Chief Collection on PC? Hell yeah, dude. Join it. I'm joining it tonight, and I'm gonna do a video on it tomorrow, by the way, guys. I'm doing a video on it tomorrow. Dude, this is Xbox Game awesome, Pass dude. for PC is here now. Try it out by downloading the all-new Xbox app on Windows. Hell yeah. And... If you want it all, we have created a membership just for you. Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Yes! Thank you, Franchise. You told me about it, yes. You get everything. Xbox Game Pass for console with over 100 great games. Xbox Live Gold, an unrivaled gaming community. And now, Xbox Game Pass for PC at no additional Oh charge. my god. Dude, this is a steal. 15 bucks a month. That's not, that's fucking awesome, dude. 15 bucks a month. Are you kidding and me? And because it's E3, 
everyone can jump in and play today for one dollar. <laughs> Ron John is, is having a... Uh, your next favorite game. Ron John right now, Ooh, it's, it's, it's like... Uh, I don't want to say it. I can't say it on here, uh, you know. I was going to say something, but I can't say it. <laughs> it's not suitable if I say it. <clears throat> Halo? What is this? Anaconda? Microsoft Simulator? Microsoft Simulator is back? Holy macro baloney. Microsoft Simulator is back. Holy, holy shit. It's also going to be available at the uh, Game Pass. This is part of the Game Pass. Every exclusive game for the PC and the Xbox window, it's going to be available for you to purchase. I mean, for you to have part of the Xbox Game Pass. Look at this. Holy mother of... Holy shit. Yes, Flight Simulator. Guys, I'm dying right now, dude. I can't. This is like heaven for me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Forget the X Plane 11. X Plane 11 could kiss my ass. Yes! Yes! Motherfuckers. Yes! <laughs> Fucking yeah! I can't help it, bro. Fuck yeah, dude. This is like heaven for me. <laughs> Do you remember a time when armies were built and powerful cities collapsed? When the smallest of choices echoed through the pages of history? It was an age of empires. Definite division only. Nice. I used to play this on the PC. Dude, man. Brothers, and sisters, and elderly, whoever, younger. Man, this is awesome. Game Pass Ultimate $15 a month is the best damn deal ever, 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 ever created. Period. The best value, period. Razors? I see you at a donkey's age! Welcome to beautiful Colorado! Home to the Purple Mountains Mastigy! Of the Rockies! Yeah, Anthony, let's Hike through amazing, colorful man. canyons! Get up close and personal with a wild and woolly wild duck! Sample home cooked delicacies! Eat where the locals eat! Visit Colorado Springs! There's so much to see and do in this post-apocalyptic winter wonderland. Meet new people. Make new friends. Colorado has colorful characters and friendly faces everywhere you look. See our beautiful airport. And don't forget to pick yourself up a nifty souvenir. So don't be shy, Colorado's waiting for you. <laughs> first round's on me, uh, first round's on, on you. Wasteland 3 looks pretty good in 4K, damn. <clears throat> for, for an RTS game. Dude, the flight simulator, well. oh, Microsoft Flight Xbox Simulator Game looks Studios. better than ever, Matt dude. Booty. It's photorealistic, bro, it looks photorealistic. Games are at the heart of our mission. Over the last year, we added seven new game development studios to Xbox. It's fantastic to see some of these studios already sharing new games on our E3 stage, and there's more to come. 
I have the privilege of working with some of the best studios around the globe. And for me, great studios are about people, teams, and ideas. Our success comes down to one thing, creating great games that players love. And great games come from great developers. That's why I'm honored today to announce that joining Xbox Studios is Double Fine Productions. All right, a, a, new, uh, a new company to join it, that's 15. Double Fine has been a beacon of creativity and spirit in game development for almost 20 years with classic games like Psychonauts, Brutal Legend, and Broken Age. I'm looking forward to Double Fine joining Xbox and seeing what we create together. Please join me in welcoming the founder and president of Double Fine Productions, Tim Schaefer. The great thing about the Flight Sim, Microsoft Flight Sim, it will be both on the uh, Xbox Anaconda, Xbox One X, and the PC. So you'll have unlimited ways to uh, play it. 8K, 4K. Hello. Thank you. Thank you so much, and thank you, Matt. We are so excited to be joining Xbox Game Studios, and I'm here to personally reassure you, Matt, I don't know what you've heard, but I'm a team player. Whatever you need from Double Fine, we'll make for you. Uh, Halo stuff, uh, Forza stuff, Excel stuff, whatever you want, we are there. <laughs> yeah. Tim, we just want you to make great games. Oh, that's such a relief, because I was totally lying. <laughs> In that case, we brought a brand new trailer for Psychonauts 2. Take a look if you dare. Psychonauts 2, awesome, dude. I like these, these short little uh, independent games. I love it. My name is Raz, and today is my first official day on the job. We're on a mission. Rasputin? I'm on him. Looking for me? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Mia, the mission is falling apart. We've lost control of Lobato. I put the old egg in the box in the That's Bud's for him. He's got the Bud wise. No. I won't tell. I won't tell anyone. Yeah, the uh, flight simulator, uh, Microsoft flight simulator, will be across all, you know, the Xbox One X, Xbox Anaconda, Lockhart, uh, and of course the uh, the PC. And on the PC, you'll be able to do like 8K resolution, something insane, you know. But it's the first time that it's coming to the console. World premiere. Dude, can't fucking wait. Halo. This better be Halo. No, it's Star Wars. What the? Oh, come on. Lego Star Wars, they get they got me all excited. Huh? Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Probably spring 2020 or summer. Dragon Ball Z? Yeah. 
Let me see the pizza. Now, do it. No, no, let him go. Come on, Dragon Ball Z. You can do this. Come on. You will suffer a sign of them. Frieza. <laughs> you can't block me. I will not lose to Sion. You must die by my hand. This is the only way. Project Action RPG. Coming soon. Kakarato, early 2020. World premiere. Alright, time to get to the chopper, get to the Halo chopper. Come on. This looks good. <laughs> I have a surprise for you. Okay. <laughs> you want to guess what it is? <sighs> this is an outfit for a newborn. You bought it this morning. You wanted to surprise me. I'm sorry. You're pregnant. You know? I know because you already gave it to me. This has happened before. What are you talking about? What's going on? Someone is coming. He's going to hurt us. He says you killed your father. I need to know what happened. Why are you doing this? My father died. Died of a heart attack? No. I, 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 I didn't have anything to do with... Any second now, he's going to knock on that door. Help me. This isn't happening. This can't be happening. Police, open up. That's him. Did you call the police? We have a warrant. Please open the door. I didn't do anything. We're here to help. Don't listen to him. I'm your only chance. Open the door, right now. You know me. I love you. You have to believe me. Stop. No. You're under arrest. No. Hey! <laughs> You're home. What are you doing? Are you okay? <laughs> this looks interesting. Twelve minutes. An interactive thriller about a man trapped in the time loop. Coming soon, 12 minutes. Looks pretty good though. Tony Matana's here, hell yeah. Welcome. J just say hello to my friend over here. <laughs> that looks pretty interesting. 12 minutes. Away to the woods. All of the lights will guide you to your home. Come on, Bambi, you can do this. Get to the chopper, Bambi. God. No, not in the side of the, the subway. Get to the chopper, not to the sewers. The wrong way, not in there, in the target. Go to the, not to Walmart, go to the chopper. Come on, Bambi. To the, no, not to the subway again. Go to the chopper and in the hills. <laughs> this looks interesting, too. Like, you, you were like a mother. Uh, dear, and you need to bring Bambi or Bambi. Bambi, I said Bambi. Bambi. They call it Bambi, I said Bambi. <laughs> it's a Bambi. It doesn't matter, it's the Bambi. <laughs> looks good, looks interesting. But this is the way to do wish to get to the chopper, you see. It's coming to the Xbox One. All right, it's time for Halo. No, this gears. <laughs> Naomi, is that you? Why 
Probably September. This is September release date. Look at what Unreal Engine can do. This is all Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine 4. Look what they're doing, man, with the Gears 5. Especially the Xbox One X. Yes, she is, uh, Tony Montana. Bound by blood. Gears 5. From the Coalition, please welcome... Rod Steve Ferguson. Rod Ferguson. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. We're excited to announce that Gears 5 is releasing on September 10th. And if you want to play four days early, you can with our Ultimate Edition or membership in the newly announced Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Yes! With Gears of War 4, we wanted to earn your trust. But with Gears 5, we want to push the envelope by doing new things never seen in a Gears game before. And we'll tell you all about it this summer. In July, September 7th, join us for with our the Ultimate Game Pass if you join in, well, in right now. We'll be one of the first to play our all new competitive game type, Arcade. In August, at Gamescom, go hands on with the all new Horde mode and see how character abilities can turn the tide on the battlefield. In September, we return to the biggest Gears campaign ever, where we'll explore more of Kate's harrowing journey and celebrate our launch on September 10th. But what are we talking about today? Today, it's a brand new way to fight the swarm. In Escape, you play as one of three hive busters. You and your squad infiltrate the hive, plant the bomb, and escape with your life. Because we all know the best defense is a good offense. It's everything you love about Gears turned up to 11. I like that. I like this new mode. Let's go check it out. This looks pretty cool. The Escape mode. Here we go. It's worth it, man. For 15 bucks, you get the ultimate pass deal, which I will talk about in my video tomorrow. I will explain more in detail. except the need for revenge. This might look like a surrender, but it's not. It's an invasion. Well, why don't they show, like, dude, where's the, uh, where's the gameplay? Like, I want to see a gameplay footage, dude. Where's the gameplay footage, dude? 
Everybody knows somebody that knows somebody that knows something about it. Where's the gameplay footage? I want the gameplay footage, man. Seriously, where's the gameplay footage? <clears throat> Show me the gameplay footage. I hope you enjoyed your taste of escape, an aggressive three-player co-op experience, perfect for your living room couch. But it's not just about busting hives. You can build them, too, and challenge your friends with the experiences you create. And tonight, join me on Mixer as we challenge these three WWE superstars, Xavier Woods, AJ Styles, and Tyler Breeze, to survive a gameplay deep dive from right here in the hive. For these of you at home, for the next two days, you and your friends can play in select Microsoft stores. So good luck out running the swarm, and we'll see you on the leaderboards. Oh, and for anyone who pre-orders or plays within the first week, we've got something special just for you. Terminator? The, the Terminator's coming in here. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is what I asked for. I told him that I want the clear vision. I want to have the Terminator go in here. The fight to the horde. That is me there when I'm the naked. This is me when I'm naked over here. That would be fantastic. <laughs> that is right. I'm getting to the chopper. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, Terminator, man, that's going to be awesome. Yeah, thanks, Reynolds. Don't, don't spoil it. I gotta tell you, what's really amazing is this Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Because the Ultimate Pass is something that I think will benefit. For $15, you get all of the games to be played on your uh, Xbox consoles and then your PC consoles. And uh, your PC uh, rigs and your PC laptops, whatever you have. I think it's great value that you'll be able to play all these games. And you can choose where you want to play them. You want to play them on your Xbox console? Or do you want to play them on your PC or your, your Anaconda? I think it's a great value for $14. Seriously. Ooh, Dying Light 2. Oh my goodness. When my father saved my life, he told me never to forget who I am, where I come from. But in this place, nobody even wants to know my name. Getting attached is dead. Because when darkness comes, I like that I like rubber that it has, you know, the, the rubber on the right and the left, and then you can choose between uh, which profile would you like to have. It's pretty cool. The virus <laughs> tore society apart, but I won't let it turn me into an animal.
staying alive became the essence of our existence. Yet life uh, must Game be Warwick, more than just survival. The only thing that impressed me so far was actually two things that impressed me. Uh, and this is my personal Every preference. Every day the disease tries to uh, crush us. What really impressed me was who we are, but I the Blair Witch. Fighting. The Blair Witch, it's a new experience. It's like, if you want to scare the shit out of yourself, My name the Blair is Witch is going to be that game on the end. I am infected. I mean, it, it was no CGI. No CGI. It was a uh, in-game graphics gameplay, but it look, looks like a CGI movie. But it was actually a gameplay. And it looks fucking amazing. And it was probably on the World Anaconda. Premiere. And then... Flight Simulator looks out of this world photorealistic. Flight Simulator looks photorealistic, unfucking believably photorealistic. Only exclusive to the Microsoft and the Xbox. You cannot play it on the PlayStation. All right, he comes. Is this Ryan? What's the name of that guy? That's head of the uh, Turn Ten Studios. Not Ryan. The other guy, Dan. Dan something. Daniel. Yes, Blair, Blair Witch, and the Outer World looks freaking amazing. And Flight Simulator, just out of this world. Photo, listen, Flight Simulator is photorealistic. The first photorealistic game is the Outer World. I'm fucking believe. I mean, the uh, Flight Simulator, Microsoft Flight Simulator, is the first photorealistic simulator that I have ever seen. Period. It's un freaking believable. Man. The Microsoft Flight Simulator with the real time ray tracing and everything. It's the first photorealistic fucking game. Sorry for the language. It looks unbelievably photorealistic. Go watch the damn trailer. And if you think I'm bullshit, you gotta see it. It is. And it's gonna look amazing on the Anaconda. I don't think I'll even have to use the PC. With Anaconda, I'll be able to handle that shit. Very easy. Oh, this is coming out June 13th. Lego. Lego Forza Horizon. This is awesome. We gotta do a live stream on this. Welcome, Ralph Fulton. Okay, listen, listen. I love it. Montana, eh? I love it, Montana. Combine McLaren's passion for design with about half a million of Lego's legendary bricks. You get this incredible life-size Lego Speed Champions McLaren Senna. Combine yeah, the beauty uh, yeah. and freedom of Horizon with the playful fun of Lego, you get the Forza Horizon 4 Lego Speed Champions expansion. You will drive this Senna and more Lego Speed Champions cars in an entirely new world, packed with inventive new challenges, new areas to explore, and loads of bricks to smash. The Forza Horizon 4 LEGO Speed Champions expansion launches this week. I'll see you there. I'm going to do a live stream of this on Friday. Uh, this is going to be a lot of fun. What's a Lego? It's gonna be fun. It's, 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 it's entertainment, you know? It's, it's to have fun. You see, what Phil Spencer is doing is giving us variety. You see, he's giving variety. Something for flight simulators, something for racing simulators, something for horror fans. He's giving variety. He's trying to bring variety. Look at PlayStation now. $20. For, for the PlayStation Now, come on, man. Look at the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. PlayStation Now can't even touch the, the Game Pass. Seriously, you, you're getting a shitty value with PlayStation Now in comparison to the Xbox Game Pass. Let's just be honest here. Sony, you suck at PlayStation Now. You, you suck badly at that shit. You need to work on that shit. Uh, Microsoft is killing you with the Xbox Ultimate Game Pass. That's a fact, okay? State of decay. Where's Ron John? Ron John, come on now, man. Don't be butt hurt for the rest of your life. Come on in. There's Ron John's watching this right now. Two different parties. My mission: find the father I never knew. 
My mission, find a hero I've never met. He hasn't radioed in days. He hasn't been seen since the outbreak. The last Defuse time I heard his voice. One. The last place Private he was seen. Ron John. From the Zombies. I was in Trumbull Valley. Valley. The ultimate task was the one. I've only heard whispers. <laughs> I've only heard legend. Of unseen horrors. Here, we are the many. Here, we can become stronger. What I'm disappointed with, let's talk about some negatives. So okay, long, first of all, Rod Ferguson, surviving. it's cool that now people with are the ultimate game me. pass, you get to play the game early. This Gears, is where my story And then July 17th, you get to play the, uh, the beta. This open is beta. Where my story Rod, come on, begin. Rod Ferguson. Where's the gameplay? I thought we had seen Where everything. is the gameplay, Rod Ferguson? I don't care about the CGI trailer. We ain't where seen is the nothing damn yet. Gameplay? Let us see the gameplay. Come on, man. Like, seriously? And he had these WWE uh, stars there as well. Well, let them play the game. Let, let us see them play the game. I want to see the gameplay of Gears 5. What's up, gamer? How you doing? What's happening, uh, Mince Pinch? World premiere. Sega. Sega. For the very first time. Japan's greatest online RPG launches in the West via Xbox One. Autocon stars in Sega's Metal Gear. Something online action combat and crossplay. And Raiden and Naomi joining the fun together. All of the content sponsored by Navy. All the bosses and the epic battles sponsored by Game of Thrones. All free to play. And Metal Gear Dragon. And Godzilla. Frozen Godzilla. Fantasy Star Online. Never ending quest awaits you. Here we go. Fantasy Star Online 2. David Hayter is not included. <laughs> Those of you who have played Fantasy Star know that this game had influenced many of the most popular games today. So with great delight, we welcome Sega back to our stage and Fantasy Star back on Xbox. Yes, bring back the Dreamcast. That's As three we said, exclusive. Our goal on Team Xbox is to bring you the world's best games. Meeting with developers, playing their games, and introducing you to their games, these are the best parts of my job. Back at E3 2017, when I first met with the creators of this next game, they shared their ambition to bring their massively popular game with its passionate community of 650 million PC players to the entire world. I'm happy to announce our partnership with the legendary team at Smilegate. Their approach to game design demonstrates sheer creative boldness. Next year, you'll discover the newest entry in this landmark franchise. On console, for the very first time, only on Xbox. This is Crossfire X. Yes, let's see it. World premiere. Oh shit, look at the graphics, man.
been so far like uh, gives me some idea what to expect it's like a borderlands not borderlands it's like uh ghost recon wildlands or something it looks pretty good Namco. Looks like a good RPG though. Look at the graphics on this RPG. Looks pretty good, dude. <clears throat> there are six sirens in the universe. I used to be one of them. Borderlands My name 3. is Lilith. And I need you. Activated by that, uh, by that last game that, uh, Want the photorealistic shit? You got it. With the Microsoft Flight Simulator. X-Plane 11 is gonna be shit. It's gonna be garbage. I might as well bite my ass with the X-Plane 11. Uh, when you look at the Microsoft Flight Simulator, and it's only available on the Xbox and Windows PC. Okay, you cannot play it on a PlayStation. Uh, this is the only two ways you can play it. Anaconda, Xbox One X, or PC. And it looks fucking amazing. And then you got Blair Witch. Hopefully the Blair Witch will be released with Anaconda as a launch game. That's the first game I buy. It's gonna be that game. Uh, but two games actually. For the Anaconda I'm getting. I'm getting the Blair Witch and um, what you call it. I forgot which game I Blair Witch, Cyberpunk, Blair Witch, Cyberpunk, and uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. Those three. For the launch of Anaconda. <sighs> I don't know yet. Maybe. World premiere. Halo, finally Halo. Come on. Halo. Master Chief, is that you? That's awesome. 
Thank you for never follows, man. I appreciate it. I feel a little bit better, man. John Weeks, he got me all excited, dude. Um, when he came out, and I was like, yeah, that's it, man. My medicine is here. <laughs> what game is this? I know it's CGI, but what game is this? Let's see. Elden Ring. Only on Xbox and Windows PC. Hmm, interesting. But come on, I want to see a gameplay footage. Gameplay footage, damn it. Please welcome back Phil Spencer. From multinational studios to one-person passion projects, thousands of Xbox games are in development for you right now. Just today, we showed you 60 games. We are now experiencing an unmatched expansion of creativity on Xbox. Gaming for you means connecting all of these creators to all of you. Last fall, we announced our ambition to empower everyone everywhere to play by bringing Xbox to the cloud. We will do this in two ways, through Project X Cloud and through console streaming. Two months ago, we connected all Xbox developers to Project X Cloud. Today, we invite those of you here at E3 for our first public hands-on of Project X Cloud. Mm. to experience the freedom to play right here at the show. And you'll have two ways to stream. There's a new platform feature, console streaming. It turns your Xbox One into your own personal and free xCloud server. That's cool, man. Whether you're using a console in our data center or your console at home, this October, you'll be able to use our hybrid gaming cloud to play your games wherever you go. Yes! That's fucking awesome, dude. I love that shit. Where you play is now entirely your choice. You decide. So let's talk about our next console. For us, the console is vital and central to our experience. We heard you. A console should be designed and built and optimized for one thing and one thing only, gaming. That's right. So the same team that created the world's most powerful console, Xbox One X, and innovated its groundbreaking processor and the Elite controller. The same team that engineered the world-class compatibility of today's Xbox One consoles. The same team that set the bar for live gaming services with Xbox Live, this same team set out on a new mission to create the future of gaming for you. Yes. When we think about the future of gaming, it's not just PC, it's not just console, it's not just mobile. It's really all of the above. Xbox is all about choice. We're investing in technology all throughout the game stack. The games you want with the people you want on the devices that you want. And for us, that starts with our next generation console. We don't want to build just another console. We truly want it to be transformative. More immersion, more exploration, more detail. How do we make it easier for people to get into the game, to stay in the game? One of the things that gamers and developers are incredibly excited about is reducing load times. I'm an RPG gamer, and so, like, loading screens are a thing. You're sitting there in the fake elevator because you know that the game's loading in the background. It's just an elevator ride forever. That's our goal with gaming, is that you don't have those pauses. This generation is going to be a bigger leap than any generation we've done before. At the heart of our next generation console is our custom design processor, leveraging the latest Zen 2 and Navi technology from our partners at AMD. 
From a pure processing perspective, this is four times more powerful than the Xbox One X. We're leveraging high bandwidth GDDR6 to ensure that we're getting the best performance possible. It's gonna usher in resolution and frame rates that we've never seen before, like never seen before. We're looking at frame rates up to 120 frames per second. 8K capability, variable refresh rate. Next gen ray tracing. It's real time because it's hardware accelerated for the first time ever. What I'm personally most excited about is the SSD. We've created a new generation of SSDs. We're actually using the SSD as virtual RAM. We're seeing more than 40 times performance increases over the current generation. The combination of the SOC and the solid state drive are really what gives you a totally new experience. Now we can take all of that power and apply it back into the scene. So we can actually generate more life in that world and bring it to the gamer in a seamless way. So that then you're fully experiencing what the game developer wants you to experience. When you can move through worlds without waiting for screens to load, that speed, that performance is what the next generation is about. This is the most immersive console experience ever. That's insane. What we really want to do is give developers the power to build the game they've always envisioned. We have hundreds of people across both our first party studios as well as our third party studios working on those next generation experiences today. It's an amazing commitment to content at Xbox Game Studios. There's 13 studios, seven in the last year. That's a big family. At 343, for us, it's always about more seamless worlds with Look the, at the next Halo generation. Look at that. We can bring the world to life in a way we've never experienced Halo before. We're delivering four generations of content better than you've ever seen them before. This console is especially awesome for Game Pass members. With the faster load times, you're going to be able to experience all the games within just a snap of your fingers. We're giving gamers the option to connect across devices and across platforms in a way that we never were able to before. This isn't just a console launch. This is about the future of gaming. Your games, your achievements, your progression, your accessories, your console gaming experience with Xbox, it all comes forward with Scarlet. Scarlet. That's what they call it, Scarlet. Project Scarlet. <clears throat> Not Anaconda. Holiday 2020. It eats monsters yes. for breakfast. This is Project Scarlet, the most powerful and highest performing console we've ever designed. Built for creators to unleash their boldest creative visions and optimized for players to enjoy the ultimate gaming experience on a console anywhere. Immersive experiences begin at the very heart of the console, at the silicon level itself. Together with our partners at AMD, we have co-engineered and custom designed a state-of-the-art processor for Project Scarlet. With the Zen processor, the AMD. Power you could see defined previous generations. Power and performance you can see and feel defines Project Scarlet. When we talk about freedom to play, when we talk about Xbox in the cloud, when we talk about streaming your games, Project Scarlet and all of its power and all of its performance is the foundation of our future in console and the formation of our future in cloud. 120 frames per we second. We launched Xbox 18 years ago with a game reviewers called the definitive reason to own an Xbox. Well, because humanity was and is worth saving. Next holiday, we will launch Project Scarlet with Halo. Yes, yes, yes.
Daddy's listening. Can you say hi? Hi. And how big are you? I'm baby. Can you tell Daddy how big you are? Are you so big? So big. <laughs> and can you sing? Good singing. How about I miss you? Miss you. And I love you. I love you. I love you, Daddy. I love you, Daddy. And I can't wait to see you. Can you say see you? See you. Good then. Bye bye. Bye bye. UNSC Pelican Echo 216. Can you hear me? This is UNS. Master Chief. He's alive. Look at the real-time ray tracing, dude. Holy fuck. Excuse me, I'll Looks language. like the main power cells are fried. Auto shut down. Triggering survival mode. I'm going to try to override. Okay. If you can hear me in there, I hope you're ready. Please don't die. Please. Oh my god. Yes! 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 We're going home! <laughs> oh, welcome back, Chief. I rerouted what little power I had into your suit. Hmm. Looks like there's a problem with the servos in your hands. Stay calm. You've been out there a while. I know I saw something in here to check your armor's diagnostics. Yes, continue, Chief. Whoa, 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 easy there, big guy. You're not... Status report. Status report? What? There's something you need to see, Chief. Lost. Lost everything. There's nothing left for us here. I don't think poor here is. No, 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 Not then. Not again. We need to run. No. We need a fight. Get ready. Oh my god, that looks fucking amazing. Whew. Whew. Holiday 2020 is gonna be fucking the best holiday ever, ever created in the history of holidays. Love it, dude. Fucking love it. Uh, no, get to the chopper. Come on. The gear's five. <laughs> Look at the Microsoft Flight Simulator. I mean, that's photorealistic. The crap.
Crossfire, Cyberpunk, John Wick's in there. Let me just. Thank you. Dude. No, this is it. This is what I'm talking about, Microsoft. You did it. This is awesome. I'm happy now. There's so much to unwrap. There's so much to talk about. We'll talk about this after this is over, but uh, there's so much to unwrap here. I mean, where do I even begin? It's insane. First for the Game Pass, the fact that you have that ability now to have the ultimate Game Pass and you can start now with one dollar to join in. And then you have the Scarlet Xbox coming out next year, holiday 2020. You got all these games coming out. Cyberpunk, April 16th. And you got the Blair Witch that looks insane. And then you've got a Microsoft Flight Simulator that just looks bananas. Photorealistic. It's insane. And the Xbox Cloud. Out of all of them, the Xbox Cloud. That you can stream from your Scarlet or your Xbox One X. You can play it anywhere on your phone, on your laptop. Doesn't matter where you go, you take that experience. There's so much. There was so much here. No, they, they're going to announce the pricing probably later on this year. They're going to announce how much it's going to be. Or probably next year they're going to announce... Uh, how much it's gonna cost for you to pre-order? Uh, I'm look. I don't care. Even if it's six hundred dollars, dude. I don't care. I think it's worth it. Even if it's six hundred dollars, I think it's worth it, dude. You're getting so much value. You are getting so much value here. It's insane, man. There's just too much value here. There's way too much value here for you to to enjoy man and it's awesome it is super awesome dude i mean i'm i'm blown away man I'm, I'm this is what i was expecting it's exactly what i wanted to see listen he listened phil spencer it's exactly what i was saying you guys have to remember he inherited the the mess he inherited the mess in 2003. I mean, 2013. 2013, he inherited the mess. The mess that was called the DVR Connect, called the Xbox One. And he had to try to figure out how do I go, go back to the drawing board. He had to go back to the drawing board to figure out what do I do next here that I have this mess. And thank God that he was involved in that mess to fix that mess and it took him five years to fix it and now he's got everything established now 2020 beyond the xbox it's good to go man and this is great this is great you see i like this because this brings the great quality you're gonna enjoy the best of both worlds this is what this is about this is not about me holding a green flag or me holding a blue flag this is about experiencing the best of the both worlds and that's what we want as gamers we want to be able to experience the best of the both worlds well that's okay Tron I mean you know everyone's entitled to their opinion you know that's all right dude but I have to disagree I, I thought they delivered exactly what they needed to deliver you know and that's awesome just Halo alone, it's going to be more than enough for me. Just Microsoft Flight Simulator, it's going to be more than enough for me to dive into. Playing uh, the Blair Witch, to me, it's more than enough to experience the Blair Witch on the uh, launch date, holiday 2020, on the Xbox Scarlet. Th these are the games that are going to give you some benefit. And then you got the cloud gaming, cloud service gaming is coming out in October. So this holiday, let's say you're traveling uh, to visit your family for Thanksgiving, right? And you can't bring your Xbox and, 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 you know, play it there at your family place. 
All you need is your laptop or your tablet. And guess what? With your laptop and your tablet, you can enjoy all these games that you have on the Xbox. So when you're sitting in that guest room or whatever, you can play those Xbox games with the Xbox Cloud service. That's awesome, awesome thing, you know. Uh, I don't think so. I think only Scarlet. Uh, you know, this is... I, I knew it was going to be bullshit. I knew that there was a lot of bullshit out there. People putting misinformation. And I was very skeptical about that. They're not going to do that. They're only going to make one console. A powerful console. That is going to give you what you need. I don't think Microsoft wants to confuse people. They're going to say, oh, there's three different consoles. There's this, there's that, there's this, there's that. No, no, no. I think they want to tell you, okay, this is the new generation. And they want to do the same thing that the Bill Gates did in 2001. And this is why they're releasing in November next year. Because they want to make it a 18, 19 years, close to 20 years anniversary. 20 years anniversary with the original Xbox when it was launched in 2001, November. So... What a best way to introduce a new step forward with a truly, truly, truly a new generation. Forget the Xbox One. This is truly a new generation. A truly new generation console that's going to be released in November next year to be an anniversary with a 2001 Xbox console. And this is awesome. I like what they're doing. I'm very happy what I saw today, what I witnessed today. Uh... I have no complaints. I really don't. So what do you guys think? Let me see what you guys have to say. Enough of me. Let's see what you guys have to say. Is there a luck hard console? Yeah, I don't think so. Legions, thank you, Legions. Both me and Legions agree that uh, the Blair Witch and uh, the Microsoft Flight Simulator, I mean, Jesus H. Christ, photorealistic, looks amazing. It, uh, Tron says, at least Phil made the right choices. He needed more time to get developers to produce the titles. That's true, Tron. You have to remember, he's only a human being. And like I said, he inherited the mess. You know, try to run a company. Let's say you get hired to run a company. Let's say some company in Detroit. Like, uh, I don't know, some uh, automobile manufacturing company. And... They're having all kinds of mess, all kinds of problems, and you have to run that mess. They're in deficit. So how do you bring that company back together? That's not an easy task to do. That's not an easy job to do. And Phil Spencer did it, but it took him five years to do it. Okay? And the only reason it worked, because he listened to the gamers. Phil Spencer listened to the gamers. You don't see him being dressed in a suit and a tie. He's not that type of a person. He's not dressed in a suit, you know trying to to look like a businessman because he's not a businessman he's a gamer okay uh he cares and he wants to bring us the best experience that he can but it took a long time to get there why because he inherited the mess in 2013 that's why it took a long time but now the base is set everything's ready to roll uh, Alonzo Pena, I think that's why Sony didn't show up because they knew Xbox came with Scarlet. Good job, Microsoft. Yeah, I mean, seriously, good job, Microsoft. Uh, they, they, good job, man. They did a great job. I'm, I'm impressed. I mean, I understand everybody has their own opinions. I get that. There's always going to be, you know, divisions. Uh, I hold the green flag. I hold the blue flag. I hold the yellow Master PC flag. I understand that, but I'm impressed. Uh, Mr. Wada says, PlayStation 5 hasn't been fully revealed yet. That's true, too. We gotta wait to see what PlayStation 4 will bring. I mean, PlayStation 5 will bring. Uh, the PlayStation experience, I think, fingers crossed, we might see it in July. We might see it in July. I don't know. Maybe in July. We'll see. Uh, who knows? But we'll see what happens. And I think it's better for us to wait and then live stream like this, PlayStation Experience, which I'm going to do. I'm going to live stream PlayStation Experience like this. And we're going to do the same thing. And then we'll see exactly what they're going to bring. But honestly, PlayStation's sitting pretty. I mean, it's not like they have to impress us. PlayStation's already sitting pretty. 
it was the Xbox that needed the facelift. It was the Xbox that needed some, some whom you know that like that bra Bravo thing, and and they did, and they did. They brought it here. So, PlayStation is already sitting pretty. You know, it was the Xbox that needed this, this medicine, this this boost. You know. Uh, let's see what else we have. Yeah, Phil is the right person. That's true. And he inherited the mess, you know. Uh, Phil Spencer inherited the mess in, in 2013. Uh, even I was against it. I was like, why did why they're showing us? Adam Sessler was asking uh, the previous CEO back in 2012. I said, why are you guys more focused on the television and DVR and a Kinect? People didn't like the Kinect with Xbox 360. What's making you think that they're gonna like the Kinect now? Uh, Cause you know why? Cause they had the suits. They had the business people, and this is why you don't want the business people, uh, the suits, to be running a company. Just like you have suits with Konami. That's why Konami sucked ass right now because they have damn suits running it. Okay, that's why it didn't work. You want somebody who's truly passionate. You want someone who truly cares, who's truly passionate, and that's that's what it's all about, guys. It's about being passionate okay so that's what I'm all about I'm about individuals who are passionate about gaming who are passionate about bringing new experiences you know and that's what I want to see so when I criticize both side of the aisle and, and I said this many times I want the best I want the best experience and that's what I want to see I want to see the best experience from both side of the aisle that's the whole idea of life, to have the best experience Why, while you are still alive, while, while you still exist. You want to have the best experience. And there's nothing wrong with demanding the best experience. So when I criticize, I want you guys to understand I do it for that reason, because I want the best experience. Uh, let's see what else, uh, what, what else we got going on here. I think the Xbox delivered goods today. I think so too, Dave. First never follows. Mr. Forky, so do you believe we watch a AAA exclusive title? Uh, we did. We did. We watched a number one, the, the Blair Witch. Actually, let me go to the YouTube right now. Uh, let me bring out uh, some trailers. Let me bring it's out the, uh, the Blair knowledge. Witch. Uh, I don't know if, if it's updated or not so yet. Gonna... I'm going to show you that right now. Uh, let's go to the YouTube. My YouTube should be pop, 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 right here. Tomorrow, I'm going to talk about... There's going to be a video tomorrow. I'm going to talk about... Um, you know what? The hell with it. I'll just do a live stream tomorrow where I'm going to talk about a Xbox Game Pass Ultimate and the benefit of the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate and why you should consider that. And I'll talk about the Xbox Game Pass on the PC... Uh, we'll do a live stream on that tomorrow. I'll talk about that tomorrow. But let me show you uh, this game called uh, Blair Witch in 4K. You guys need to see this, so I'm going to talk about this in a minute. All right. Uh, see what else we got going on here. Um, by the way, this guy's pretty cool. Go check him out. Uh, Digital Trends. I like this guy. Uh, I always watch him when it comes to like new TVs and whatnot. Go check him out. Tony Ferguson, did he win? Uh, I have to check that later on. All right, so let me go and search really quick here. Let me go uh, Blair Witch. Blair Witch. Oh, this shit is so good, man. Uh, hold on. Blair. Blair. Where is it? Blair Witch. What is this? A bunch of like uh, money whores? Is Blair Witch? What is this shit? Hold on, Blair Witch. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Blair Witch. Let me see. Blair Witch. Oh, Blair Witch. Blair Witch. Uh, Xbox. Hold on, Blair Witch. Xbox. 
I don't know if they released the trailer or not yet. I think the trailer should be out. Xbox. Let's see. Blair Witch Xbox. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, Blair Witch. Blair Witch. Blair Witch. I'm trying to find a good one. Uh, trying to find a good trailer that's in 4K. Let's see. All right, shout out to Inzuni. Oh, Inzuni, dude, you got a terrible. That's terrible, dude. I cannot. Oh, these are all terrible, man. Come on, guys. It's some better quality. Okay, MK, Ice, and Fire. I think he should have a good trailer. Oh, here we go. Eurogamer Portugal. Let's see this. Now look at this, look at this. It's a shitty quality, man. They don't have a 4K quality, but if you check my beginning of this video. This is all in-game engine, dude. It just looks insane. A terrible quality, oh my god. You guys are killing me. You guys are killing me. No one has like a good like quality. Oh Jesus. Nah, they don't have it, man. But you know, if you watch the beginning of this uh, stream, you will see exactly what I'm talking about. No, they don't have a great quality. I mean, come on, guys. I mean, Jesus, it's 2019. You can record in 4K. I'm streaming in 4K, but you can record in 4K. Oh God, man disappointing uh let's see uh if they have uh, let's go to the ign where is the ign ign um let's go to the ign ign shit ign e3 ign e3 e3 sorry guys Uh, E3, and then Microsoft. Let me let me go with the Microsoft uh, Flight Simulator. Microsoft, hold on. Uh, Flight Simulator. Where is it? F F F F Flight Simulator. Flight. Flight simulator. Here we go. Let's look it up. Check it out. Check it out. Check this out. It's also powered by satellite data and, and Azure AI. So you're going to get the exact same geography as you would in real life. Look at this. This is photorealistic real-time graphics with a real-time ray tracing. Look at this shit, man. This is what you're going to be doing with the Scarlet next year, 2020. Look at this. This is not CGI. This is real-time engine. This is all real. No CGI shit. I mean, look at this. Look, look how amazing this is. Mario, look at this, Mario. Forget the Halo Infinite. That's going to be amazing anyway when it comes out. You'll see more footage next year. But look at this, Mario. Look at this shit, man. Look at this. This looks bananas. This looks bananas, Mario. Look at this. I mean, how much more photorealistic do you want? How much more photorealistic? Look at this. I don't know. They're using the satellite imagery to scan geography so everything looks real. You can find your own address, your own home as you fly and look at your own place if you want to. That's how bananas this game is. And it's only on the Xbox Scarlet, Xbox One X and the Windows PC.
Come on. Look at this, man. It's bananas. You know. Looks great. Looks great Play to me. With Xbox. Now, there's another game that I really liked was... Um, uh, what was it called? But you guys have seen it, but I don't know if they have... Let me see. IGN... Hold on a second. Uh, pop, 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 pop. We'll do IGN E3 Blair Witch. Blair Witch. Blair Witch. Here we go. How you doing, Mario, man? Good to see you, bro. Blair. You missed it, Mario, man. You should have joined us, man. We were doing this from the beginning. Blair Witch. Let's see. There we go. See what shows up. An hour ago. Here we go. In 4K. World premiere. Oh, come on. All right, that's better quality right here. Here we go. Why do they all have a shitty quality? Like, what this, what's going on? Come on, GameSpot. you got to be kidding me, man. Oh, we had more than that, man. We had like 200 people, 220, 240 people we had in the beginning. This is in-game engine, dude. This is all in-game engine, and this is exclusive only to the Xbox. Look at this, man. Imagine this shit on the Scarlet, okay, and how Let's amazing this, this is gonna look on the Scarlet. Wait up, bullet! Bullet! Me too, bro. Where am I? And if you, Mario, if you watch this from beginning, you will understand how I feel about it. Uh, what I suggest to you, Mario, watch this from beginning. Watch my entire thing from beginning, and you will understand how I feel about this entire uh, press conference and, and this whole entire E3 Xbox show. Uh, this is exactly what I wanted to see from the Xbox this year, and I think Phil Spencer delivered. This is all in-game engine. Look at this. All in-game. Imagine this with a real-time ray tracing with the uh, Scarlet. Look at this. Look at this, man. this kid. Come on. It's bananas. It's bananas and coconuts. And watermelons at the same time. First I thought it was the evil dad, but no, it's actually uh The Blair Witch. That's gonna make me witch. Rich. And of course, John Wick, you know. It looks pretty awesome as well. So I'm like super excited about this whole thing, man. I, I got to tell you guys. Uh, I have to tell you that uh, I'm really impressed what I what I saw here uh, on this uh, E3 show. This is more than impressive. Now this is they're showing this, uh, they're replaying it a little bit. They're they're going through it again, you know. So I, I was really impressed to what I was seeing in the beginning here, you know, in the beginning of the show, especially the the, the logo. The beginning of the logo was like very awesome, dude. Man, even this year, it's pretty amazing. And then, what better birthday gift for me than to have John Wick in Cyberpunk on April the 16th. My birthday is April 15th, but it's April 16th. It's going to be release date for Cyberpunk 27.7. Oh, I'm already broke with this whole thing. But that's okay, man. Look, money comes and goes. 
you want to have a good experience, right? Life is about experience. I would rather die with a great experience than to die, you know, uh, saving money, shitload of money, and then die with the fucking money that someone else will be taking from me. Okay? Life is about experience. You're not going to live forever. What are they going to do? They're going to they're gonna come after you uh, when you die? What are they going to do? Take you, uh, dig you from the grave and say, hey, you owe us money? Fuck that. No, no, no. You enjoy life now. <laughs> Well, it, I was disappointed because I wasn't sure in which direction the Microsoft was going. And the reason I was critical about them, it's because well, I want them to Microsoft do well. Theater. I wanted them to do well, you know, I want them to do well. And that's why I was very, you know, critical of them. You know, I mean, that's why that's why I did what I did, because when I criticized the Microsoft last year, I criticized them because I want them to do better. I want them to bring more exclusive games, you know, and that's why I was a bit disappointed, you know. That, that's why I did it, you know. It's nothing to do with me holding a green flag or blue flag or yellow PC Master Race flag. It's nothing about, I'm not about flags, okay. I don't get choked up about that shit. I'm about experience. I don't care who brings me the experience. I just want the experience. So people who know me, and I know you guys know this, I'm beating a dead horse here. Everybody who knows me after all these years knows that I have not one single bone in me that's a fanboy. I don't give a shit about fanboy shit. I only care about experience. As you all know, I own everything, so therefore I don't care. But I have to criticize the brand. doesn't matter which brand it is. I do criticize them when the criticism needs to be there because I want them to do better. Think of me like a drill sergeant. I want you to do better because I know you can do better. You're not giving me 100%. You give me some half-assed 40%. I want you to give me 100%. And today, the Xbox gave us 100% big time. They did it, man. Gears, you know, next month will be all... Listen, next month... We're all going to be able to try out the Gears on the open beta, and we'll see what's going on. Rod Ferguson uh, will give us the Gears 5. The Gears 5, I wouldn't expect nothing super, super high-end. Uh, it's going to look good, but don't expect something that's going to be like, you know, like uh, real-time ray tracing or some shit like that. It's going to look good, but it's not going to, like, blow your socks off or anything like that, you know. <laughs> Um, let me see what else we got going on. Yeah. What, that's pretty much what I'm all about. I'm all about the experience, man. Uh, I don't care about uh, the the whole brandings and, and brand. Same thing with the televisions. You know, I don't care who brings me the new technology. Whether it's LG, whether it's uh, uh, PCL, Hinsons, uh Call it Higgy Jiggy. I don't give a shit what brand it is. I want the experience. Same thing goes with virtual reality. I don't give a shit who brings it to me, whether it's Mark Zuckerberg or this guy or that person or here's the, this person. I don't care. I want the experience. I don't get choked up about the labels and which label sponsors being put there. I want the experience. That's how I feel. Only person who is investing into a brand will care about the brand. Okay, me, I could care less either way. Oh, we are going to be broke already. No, tomorrow I'll be talking about the uh, the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. I'll make a video about the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate and the PC version. And the benefit that you are getting with the Ultimate version, instead of purchasing separate Xbox Game Pass for the, the console and then for the PC, I think with the Ultimate uh, Game Pass, you get much better deal. And you get much better kudos because the benefit you'll be getting with the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate is the uh, the fact that uh, you will be able to enjoy all of these exclusive games with some extra caveat, you know, some extra features, some extra stuff that will be put in there, extra bonus content. You know, you're going to be rewarded 
for having the ultimate uh, game pass and it's only 15 bucks a month let's look at the PlayStation now what are you getting with PlayStation now for for $20 it's a decent experience, but you're not getting nowhere near what you should be getting. Sony's not giving you what they should be giving you. They should be giving you all of their lineups of PlayStation 1 games for crying out loud. Let's now, let's now criticize Sony for their bullshit. All right, let's, let's, let's do that now. Let's put the criticism where it's freaking needed. PlayStation now, it sucks. It's too freaking expensive. It's $20 a month, kiss my ass. I'm not getting any benefit from that $20 a month. Let's be fair. Just hear me out before you start shitting on me. All right? All you guys with the blue flags. All right? First of all, what value are you getting from the PlayStation now for $20 a month? You're not getting that much of a value. Where's all the PlayStation 1 games? The entire library of PlayStation 1 games should be on PlayStation now. Where is all the PlayStation 2 library of games? They should be all on PlayStation now. Where are they? What are they doing with them? They're wiping their ass with them? What are they doing? I don't see it, Sony. Why don't you put it there? They should also allow you to download those games. They should allow you to download PlayStation 3 games. Yes, there's a way they can fix that. They can uh, utilize some updates to, to let you uh, download it. They can uh, figure out the way to mimic their AMD chip to uh, emulate the PlayStation 3 games. They, there's a way to do that, if they truly gave a shit. They, they should give you the option to download your PlayStation 1 games, your PlayStation 2 games, and your PlayStation 3 games, along with your PlayStation 4 games. And then if you choose to do so, they should let you play it on the cloud. But Sony's not doing it for $20 a month. Now, when you look at the Xbox Game Pass, every single every single exclusive game will be available for you to play on your console so when you purchase your Scarlet if you have Xbox Game Pass or Xbox Game Pass Ultimate guess what you don't have to worry about is Halo Infinite available for me to purchase with my console no 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 it's already included it's already included because you have Xbox Game Pass Ultimate for you to play. And now, you can take that experience any which way you want. Do you want to play it on your PC? You can play it on your PC with your, your state-of-the-art graphics card. Do you want to take it home with you? Play it on your laptop? You can play Halo on your laptop. Take it with you, whatever the hell you go for the holiday season. Do you want to play it on your phone? You can play it on your phone. So which one has better experience? You freaking tell me. You see my point? That's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. So PlayStation now, let's call it what it is. It sucks. It sucks in comparison to the Xbox Game Pass. And Sony, you guys got to do a better job with, with that PlayStation now ni nightmare. Nightmare. Seriously. Microsoft is killing you in comparison when it comes to PlayStation Now joke. That's what it is. And why am I criticizing Sony? Because I want them to change that. I hope they watch this and I hope somebody shares this because I want you guys to change that. You're not giving us a great value with $20 a month for PlayStation Now. It's a shitty value. It's a money grabbing, bullshit, money whoring Val uh, for you, the suits in the Sony headquarters, it's a great value. It's not good for us. Okay? So they need to fix that. So that's how I feel about the PlayStation Now versus Xbox Game Pass. Okay? The Xbox Game Pass dominates. Dominates PlayStation Now. Like, it, it, it eats it, it swallows it, digests it and then shits it out of the the arse hole into the the toilet that's what it's doing pretty much at this moment so playstation you better bring something on your playstation experience regarding playstation now because otherwise no one's going to join pay twenty dollars a month for that nonsense <laughs> the seal team are here i'm not even paying attention man i'm just letting letting it rip I'm just calling it the way I see it. 
I'm speaking the truth. Letting the truth goes, let it, let it go out there through the airways. Let him hear it. Let him hear the truth out there. And I know somebody who works in Sony will come across this video one way or the other. They're going to bump into it. Believe me, they're going to bump into this shit one way or the other. And I hope that they're watching because you should tell your bosses at CEO uh, Sony headquarters that the PlayStation now sucks for $20 and kiss my ass. <laughs> Ah, uh, dude, they've been trying for six years now. My only problem is the PlayStation Now. When I'm doing a PlayStation Now, I mean, PlayStation VR. When I'm doing a PlayStation VR, I have a difficult time uh, trying to regulate what's being typed on the PlayStation VR. The only way I can do a PlayStation VR live stream, it's either I disable the chat or I allow the chat. But allowing the chat on the PlayStation VR, it's BS because people can spam me with a bunch of bullshit, typing on the keyboard with a bunch of nonsense. So I don't like doing PlayStation VR live streams because of that reason. Because I have to take my VR headset off, then I have to stop what I'm doing, then I have to go and take care of the business. So I don't like doing PlayStation VR live streams, really. I, I just I hate doing PlayStation VR live streams. I fucking hated it. And that's why I hated doing it when I was doing the uh, Dead Game last week. What was it that I was doing? Um, help me out of here. Blood and Truth, right? Because I had some some unwanted sperm troll donor typing, spamming me this shit till smithereens. And I have no choice but to remove the headset because I was seeing shit all over my uh, you know VR headset so I had to remove my VR headset and I had to get this unwanted sperm donor troll I had to fucking shut them down okay <laughs> what's up Giovanni Valley how you doing man I'm feeling better dude listen I got my Xbox medicine I feel great I feel great dude this is it man Xbox is back and that's great that's what I wanted to see. Hell yeah. Xboxes make my heart happy. Yes, sir. Gio Giovanni Valle, what did I think? It was awesome. Giovanni Valle, it was exactly what I wanted it to be. It was exactly that I hoped it to be. And it's, a, it's exactly what I wanted it to be. So I'm super happy, super stoked about it, man. Can't complain. It's exactly what I wanted. And I got exactly what I wanted. And I'm super happy. As you can tell, I'm not even sick anymore. The sickness gone. I got my Xbox medicine. That's it. Uh, it's, it's all my viruses inside my body I destroyed. I got the Xbox penicillin. Antibiotic Xbox penicillin. And it's over. <laughs> yeah. No, it was great, dude. I'm still like trying to process what I saw with the Microsoft Flight Simulator. Guys, I'm a huge Flight Simulator guy. You know, some people say, how is this possible that, that you are a Flight Simulator guy? But listen, besides the televisions, besides the video games, I also have other hobbies that I like. You know, there's other things that I like, all right? So um, I also create music. Many of you didn't even know that. If you look me up on Edosis Prometheus's uh, SoundCloud, you're going to find some music that I made. It's all there. If you search, instead of spamming me, I was like in heaven. What I saw, I was like, oh, seriously, man. It was like I, I gasm, you know, like orgasm, I gasm. That's how I felt. It was like, I, now there's a new kid in town, Scarlet. I mean, new, new, uh, new Scarlett Johansson's uh, uh, new Black Widows in town. So Sony, watch out for the Scarlett Johansson. She's coming. She's coming, Scarlett. I mean, Scarlett Johansson's coming. She's coming. Better than ever. Now she's free. She's not tied up to the Avengers. No more Marvel movies. Now Scarlett Johansson can just go in there and just seduce the Sony. And bring them down to her level 
<laughs> uh, That's what I'm talking about, Mario. See, Mario understands where I'm coming from. Competition is great. All right? Competition creates great experience. All right? For example, if Mario makes a better, let's say Mario makes a better cake, more tasty cake. All right, so it's my job to make a better cake that tastes even better than the Mario's cake. So we got to keep continuing to bringing better, better cakes. And we're going to keep continuing to bring better cakes for the rest of you to take the cake because it's a piece of cake you can put it in your pockets and you can eat it. But they're all going to taste better and better every each time you take a piece of cake, put it in your pockets. Okay? So it's competition. The competition is good for you. Okay? So competition drives amazing experience. If we didn't have competition, then it'd be boring. It'd be the same old, same old, same old, same old. You know? It will. I think it, they will, man. We only saw a little glimpse of what they have. They have 15 studios. 15. They announced another one uh, during the C3 uh, show. So they have a total of 15 studios. We haven't seen what uh, uh, Crytek's going to bring. Crytek is working on something as well. And you know the Crytek with their uh, engine will bring something super powerful for the Scarlet. Wait till you see what Crytek's going to bring on the Scarlet. Imagine Crisis 4, photorealistic Crisis 4. The Prophet is back. Imagine that shit on the Scarlet with a real-time ray tracing the the prophet on Mars he goes back to Mars or something it's a fuck amazing dude imagine that when they bring that on Scarlet oh you guys gonna have a immediate erection like a 24-7 erection you wouldn't even you wouldn't even need the Viagra dude but like a 24-7 erection from that shit and you know what they're gonna bring what the Crytek's gonna bring with that engine uh, that they're gonna be working on with the unlimited power that Scarlet has it's gonna be insane so this is great man these are great times now also another cool thing is the VR they didn't talk about the VR here but with Scarlet listen with this Scarlet Xbox Scarlet console listen to me the VR you're gonna get you're gonna have the best possible VR experience with that kind of power that they have under the hood you're gonna have state-of-the-art VR experience man you're gonna have like a mind-blowing VR experience when they finally decide to implement the VR and I'm pretty sure they will something with a HoloLens mixture of HoloLens and VR they're gonna work on that too don't expect Microsoft to tell you everything all at once there's still some stuff they can't talk about that's behind the closed doors you know because Bill Gates probably said hey you only gonna let them know or we gonna let them know this time they're saving that shit for the next time but this is great this gives me a great hope because this tells me there's a lot of cool things happening in the future for the Xbox and for the PlayStation 5 and even for Nintendo Nintendo's uh, is making a new console as well so this is awesome this is awesome there's so many awesome experiences guys for you to experience uh, in the gaming industry, in the VR industry, in the movie industry, there's so many cool things happening. This is the probably the best time to be alive, dude. This this kind of technology that's coming out 2020 and beyond, it's really gonna uh, be remarkable, man. So, well, I'm glad that you guys enjoyed this. It was like almost three hours. It was about an uh, hour and 50 minutes, I think. That's how the long the... Uh, this is probably their longest uh, show that they've done, which is hours and 50 minutes, I think. Something like that. And it was uh, very impressive, man. I'm, I'm Like I said, I'm, I'm very impressed with the whole thing. And uh, you guys can check out this live stream later on. You can watch it in 4K from beginning, and you can see my reaction. This was all in real time, in, in, in live. It was in, This was not edited. This is all being live streamed, and whatever reaction you saw, 
it's what the reaction you saw for me and from the others. Mario, that's what I've been trying to tell people, so my predictions were correct. When I said photorealistic games are coming in 2021, I was pretty close. I nailed it. I was right. And I don't mean to brag about this, but I did say 2021. Photorealistic games are coming. You know. It looks like I was right. Looks like I was right. Mario, how could you miss it, man? How could you miss it? I'm so disappointed in you, Mario. No, it's all right, dude. Don't worry about it. It's all good. <laughs> you can always watch it later on. It was a bunch of... A lot of people showed up. It was like 200-something people were watching. That was pretty amazing, dude. Uh, I didn't expect to see that many people show up. And it was in 4K. You know, I did bring you guys the 4K, as I promised. Uh, even though I was a bit sick this morning, uh, and I had some problems with the weather, you know, it was a thunderstorm, lightning... But I still manage to do it for you. You know, if I keep a promise, I try to bring it. You know, I try to keep my word. You know, why? Because I care about you guys. And I want you guys to have this, uh, you know, like a social experience as we watch this E3 show. You know, I do this for you. It's like Demetrio says, Demetrio sent a really good message to these trolls. He made a video where he said something uh, along these words. Uh, Demetrio is my friend from Sweden he said you know I'm not a perfect guy you know I make mistakes but why would you troll somebody who is a good guy why would you troll somebody who's trying to bring us cool content why would you troll somebody who is not out there who is not a money whore who is not doing it for the money why don't you troll somebody who's doing it for the money why don't you troll somebody out there who's just a money whore who's begging for the money donate here Make sure you uh, follow me here. Make sure you donate there. Make sure you pay for me here. Make sure you buy my merchandise. Why don't you troll that idiot? Or why don't you troll that money whore? Why are you trolling me? Like, you trolling the good guy. You should be trolling the other assholes out there who are sending the, the wrong message about the YouTube in general. They're nothing but money whores. I don't know how else to call them. People say, why are you calling them a money horse? Well, I how else to call them how else to call them how else to label them join here donate here merchandise merchandise join here sponsor here by the time they talk about the video I have to freaking go to two and a half minutes three minutes of their sponsorship shit and at the end of the video still make sure you donate make sure you help me out I don't want to see that I'm tired of that if you want to make money, it should be a free will. If people like what you're doing, they will pay for you. It's going to pay for itself. But if you're constantly begging people, if you're constantly begging people, pressuring people, forcing people to pay you, that shit rubs me the wrong way. And yes, I'm talking to all of you big YouTubers out there. It rubs me the wrong fucking way. It does. This is why I'm not sponsors. Somebody asked me today, how come you don't have Microsoft approach you and sponsor you so you can go to E3 show? Well, that's because Microsoft cannot associate themselves with me. Sony cannot associate themselves with me because they know that I am not one of those actors that's going to put in a makeup, put in all that shit, and then read a script, teleprompter. And then heavily edit the video. I don't do that. I'm not about that. And I never wanted to be about that. I wanted to be about me. This is me. This is who I am. Like it or don't like it. Doesn't matter to me. It's who I am. You want to go along for the ride? Then go along for the ride. But this is who I am. I never wanted to be part of that whole stereotyping shit. I know if you want to be a good person, if you want to be a good maverick, make sure you donate. Make sure you click here and donate. Also, even though I have 20 million subscribers and I'm still making a lot of money, but that's not enough. That's not enough. I still want you to donate. You need to donate. Because I'm a prima donna. I'm a prima donna who's juiced up on, uh, you know, steroids. And it's hanging around with uh, Brazilian, uh, what's his name? 
Dan Bilzerian, whatever the fuck his name is, okay? I hate these fake prima donnas living in Los Angeles, living in the valley with all these fucking porn stars. I can't stand those motherfuckers either, okay? I'm tired of stereotypes. I want the real people, real interactions, like with the real fucking people, real gamers, uh, uh, individuals who cares. I'm tired of the suits. I don't like the suits either. Did you see Phil Spencer? He came out, no suit, no bow tie, came in in a jacket. Just a casual shit jacket. He came out and he was talking to you as a gamer, a passionate gamer. That's who I want, passionate fucking people. I don't want the money whores and I don't want the prima donnas. Not interested in that shit, okay? That's what I'm all about. And I've been through so much shit, man. I've been all over the place. I met all kinds of people in my life. When I say all kinds, I mean all fucking kinds of people. I had that luxury. I met the devils of the devils of the Satans of the fucking Satans. I met them all. The good, bad, big and small, fuck them all. I met them all. And that's who I am. I'm about the realness. I'm not about fakeness. I don't give a shit about the fakeness. I want the real thing. Where the people are truly speaking their mind, speaking their passion. And that's what I saw today on the Xbox E3 show. I saw passionate people who care about the gaming. And that's how I, that's how I feel in general. And I, the reason I'm telling you this is because there's still people out there who don't understand. Like, almost like I'm a glitch in the YouTube system. Like, they don't understand this. this is, I'm like an alien to them. I'm like a Superman alien. Like, you guys don't fit in in this society of blah, 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 blah. Well, I'm glad that I don't fucking fit in. That makes me special because I don't fit in. I don't want to fit in into your stereo stereotyping bullshit. I have to like everything because you like. I don't want to fit in your stereotyping shit. I want to fit in who I am. This is who I am. Only one me. And that's what this is about. Me. One me. Not stereotyping versions of me that needs to appease to a certain group. I don't want to appease to any other group out there or any other brand. I'm here, this is me sharing my passion with me and drinking this, uh, this Alpha Brain Joe Rogan coffee on it. <laughs> All right, let's see. That's enough of me talking about that shit. I know you guys know where I'm coming from. I know Mario knows where I'm coming from. I know Sportsman Dan knows where I'm coming from. I know Mr. Wada 100 knows where I'm coming from. Uh, franchise gets it. He knows where I'm coming from. Uh, Dirty Sprite, he gets it. He knows where I'm coming from. Uh, pretty much everyone here, Dave, uh, you guys know exactly where I stand. First Never Follows, he gets me. He knows where I'm coming from with all of this. But yes, there's going to be individuals out there who don't get this. You know, for, for them, this is strange. Why isn't this guy talking like everybody else? Why isn't he talking like everyone else on YouTube? Why isn't he reading a teleprompter? Hello there today. Uh, we're going to be talking about this, this, and that. And also, uh, at the end of the video, make sure you uh, help my sponsor and also check my merchandise. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. I don't want to be that fucking guy. I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be an actor. I don't want to be an actor. I want to be who I am. Okay? So that's it, guys. Almost three hours. Thank you, Gamer for Life. I know you get it. I know you guys get it. Uh, but there's people out there who don't get it. You know? And the reason I mentioned Demetrius, because Demetrius made a really good video where he talked about this. He said, I don't get these trolls. Like, you stupid motherfuckers. Like, why are you going after a good guy? Why are you going after the guy who actually gives a shit about you? Why don't you go after somebody who doesn't give a shit about you, but I want your money. Why are you trolling me out of all the goddamn people? And people say, but what about those people you blocked? The individuals that I have blocked, there was a reason why they were blocked. And there's videos where I explained why they were blocked. And they know what they have to do if they want to be unblocked. I'm open for conversations. I'm not a person that holds the grudge. I'm open for conversation. I'm willing to sit down and talk to anybody. 
if they're willing to talk to me like a human being, like an adult, respectful human being. If you can't talk to me like a respectful human being, then I don't want to talk to you. Then you're going to be black forever. So they have to change. They have to strip their ego and their BS, and they have to talk to me as a human being. Not as some, some asshole that's out there just discriminating, talking shit. Uh, you got to talk to me as a human being. That's how you get unlocked. So, and those individuals that I blocked, they were blocked because they were pushy. They were pushy, and I gave them three chances. Keep warning them. I said, hey, listen, it's my channel. I appreciate your advice, but please don't pressure me. Don't tell me what I should do. You, you know, you, you, what are you, my tutor? Now you're going to tell me how I should have wiped my ass? Uh, and I gave these individuals a warning. Warning after warning after warning after warning. And they kept ignoring that warning. And then I have my limits. I blocked them. And they joined the butthurt colony of blocked people that Mr. 4K has blocked. As I like to call it, pyramid col col colony, colony, pyramid colony of blocked people that I have blocked in the past. And these individuals whom I have blocked, they went on this rampage, on this like uh, insurgency, like this stupid ass insurgency trying to bring me down, talking all kinds of shit about me, putting false statements about me, saying this, saying that, writing all kinds of bogus shit about me, thinking that somehow, somehow or some way, they're going to bring me down. But all they did is they made me even bigger. They made me even stronger. That's all they did. And that's the message that Demetrios was trying to bring about on his video. <clears throat> Anyway, so I'm going to finish this Alpha Brain Coffee, Joe Rogan. And yes, everybody wants to, everybody's been asking me, did Joe Rogan saw my video three years ago? Joe Rogan versus everybody. Yes. How did he see the video? Well, Joe Rogan has a friend called Brian. Brian Redband. And I also know Brian Redband a little bit on the Twitter. And I shared the video with Brian Redband, and Brian Redband shared the video with Joe Rogan. So Joe Rogan saw the video, and he was laughing. He says, this shit is hilarious. I could never do one leg kicking to defeat everybody, but in the game, you can. And everybody disliked the video because they thought it was a bullshit video. But it was a comedic video. It was supposed to be funny. I made a video to be funny. Of course, Joe Rogan, 50-year-old man, cannot defeat everybody with a one leg kick. But I found that video to be funny. And even Joe Rogan found that video to be funny. Brian Redband found that video to be funny. But everybody else got their pennies, uh, panties and knickers in the twists and their pantyhoses in the twists. Ooh, this is bullshit. Joe Rogan can't do this. Of course he can't do it. It's a goddamn video game. It's a video game. Of course he can't do that in real life, man. Defeating a Bruce Lee, defeating uh, everybody, defeating Brock Lesnar with one leg kick. Come on, man. <laughs> Cliffy B, it's over. Cliffy B, it's over. Okay, Cliffy B, I don't know. I think what Cliffy B needs to do, he needs to uh, write an apology letter to uh, uh, Rod Ferguson, an apology letter to Rod Ferguson, and tell Rod Ferguson, Rod Ferguson, you're going to be my daddy. And then he needs to write a letter to uh, his grandpa, Phil Spencer, and tell Mr. Grandpa Phil Spencer, uh, I, I need to write you an apology. Can I please come back with the Microsoft? I'm, I'm really, uh, I'm sorry with my egoistic uh, little tiny Woody that I had to constantly stroke it a little bit by little bit to show just how small it is. Can I please come back? I'm going to regulate my ego. I'm not going to be this egomaniac like I was before. That's what he needs to do if Cliffy B, Cliff Blazinski wants to come back to work for Rod Ferguson or to work for Microsoft at all. Because you know Phil Spencer will not have him on to the team if he's going to bring his egomaniac, you know, orders. I'm, 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 I'm Cliff Blazinski. You do what I tell you to do. This is how I want it to be done. Phil Spencer doesn't want that shit. Phil Spencer wants the teamwork. Phil Spencer, it's about a teamwork. He's about a passionate people who want the teamwork. He's not about egoistic, narcissistic, 
self individuals out there who got to show their trophy wife they got to show their stupid Lamborghinis so nobody gives a shit about okay you have to spend twenty five thousand dollars just to change the goddamn oil on the stupid car all right he's not interested in that shit all right he's interested in people who are real not prima donnas all right well there you have it guys I hope you enjoyed this Sunday three hour live stream that I brought to you guys and I hope you guys had fun with this you guys know me if I if I drink this alpha brain coffee that's it it's over dude you might as well just put me on the radio put me on a Howard Stern call the Howard Stern right now say hey dude you, you haven't seen nothing yet until you experience Mr. 4k Howard Stern you have not experienced anything you haven't experienced anything till you experience this moi this ugly mug <laughs> I agree, Mario Looney. So, yeah, Ron John is back. Ron John is still butthurt that I blocked him for a little bit. I put him in a, you know, put him in a block three-day session, you know, and he got really butthurt, you know. And then I told him, Ron John, man, you know, you rubbed me the wrong way when I was playing a Red Dead, what was it? I was playing a game, and I told him, why I blocked him. I said, listen, this is the reason why I blocked you, dude. I gave you a warning and you like continually continue to, to, you know, annoy me as I'm trying to live stream. Instead of helping me, you were annoying me. Like you were wasting my time. You weren't even being funny, dude. You were annoying me. And I said, dude, you weren't helping the live stream. You were being like a dick. You were being like a Cliffy B. But he got butt hurt. He got butt hurt that I said that. And now I blocked him a long time ago. He doesn't want to come back. He's probably talking shit about me out there with Westside Tech and who's the other clown? The one that has to fuck his wife twice, three times, five times before she can actually come. So, you know, he's out there with those clowns out there talking shit about me, you know, talking to them how we can create some other fake accounts to, to bring the Mr. 4K down. Dude, bring me three million fake bots on my video I'll be more than happy to take 3 million dislikes if you guys can do that you did your job bring me that 3 million dislikes if you can please for the love of God so uh, yeah man I'm at this point where I just don't give a shit man either you with me or you against me I don't give a shit you know if you want to be with me then you with me if not dude God bless you I don't wish anybody any ill I wish you all the best but hey if you don't want to be part of my channel that's fine, dude. Take a walk. You can take a walk anytime, any day. No one's being forced here to, to stick around with this guy, you know. But if you do want to stick around, you got to remember I do have some rules. And I do have some rules that I have to go by, you know. Even John Week has rules. But he breaks them sometimes. <laughs> all right, so uh, thank you, Dom. Thank you all. It was great. Uh, like I said, I love this live stream. This live stream, it's a mixed bag. It has a little bit of everything. And there's some things that I needed to say at the end here. Uh, so people have a clear, clear vision as to what's going on around here. That if you don't have the clear vision, you don't understand what's going on. That there's a bunch of drifters around there. That they see, I'm trying to tell people that there's a clear vision. You have to have the clear vision to understand where to go. So, yeah, dude, keyboard warriors. I'm not really fancy about the keyboard warriors. Uh, you know, hiding behind the keyboard. Listen, man, uh, anybody can pay money to find out where I live, dude. If you want to find out where I live, go pay the money, find out where I live. Please come and see me. Let's, ha let's have a talk. Let's have a talk. Please do. Please do come see me, you know. Uh, but the problem is you're dealing with idiots out there who are hiding behind the keyboards and they have no balls to talk to you face to face. They have no balls to actually say something to you in the face in person because that's exactly what they are they're the biggest cowards on the planet the biggest pussy on the planet period and that's why they're hiding because they're the biggest pussy and on the planet everybody knows that everyone knows that they're the biggest pussy all right so I don't really want to waste my time with with keyboard warriors hiding behind the keyboards with dozens of fake accounts it's easier for me just to block remove block remove block remove Okay, I'm not interested in, in, in that shit. Talking to a, a fake person. A pussy, 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 fake person. A big, giant vagina. 
it's the Godzilla of vaginas out there hiding in in a little cave of uh, of, of little you know uterus whatever fuck it uh, okay they're just pussies the biggest cowards on the planet and I don't want to deal with that kind of bullshit man I don't want to write them I don't want to give them any attention so I just block and remove or ignore you know uh. Pfft. Terminator 6 is coming. I am kind of pumped, man. This, I'm getting like uh, a bit, a bit like it is. I'm getting pumped here. I am pumped. Uh, it's going to be like the beast. The beast. By the way, the Terminator 6 is coming out. Yeah, the Dark Fate Terminator 6. Can't wait for it, man. I want to see that. That's going to be awesome, dude. That's going to be super awesome. Uh... And I, I heard the story is going to really make sense. Uh, the the story is going to tie in nicely with the Genesis and the previous two movies. Excuse me. So the story should be really good. And I think what you guys should expect from Terminator 6 Dark Fate, it's more of a, a story that's going to make sense. That's going to tie in with the rest of the two movies. It's not so much about special effects even though there's going to be some special effects but i think that the key point about terminator dark fate terminator terminator 6 is the story and how the story is going to continue to tie in with the rest of the movies and that's what jim cameron wants to bring and i think that's why james cameron produced that movie wrote the script for that movie and i think it's gonna look good so well there you have it guys it was great 200 something people showed up that's a lot of people man I didn't expect to see 260, 240 people. It was like ridiculous. Uh, it was crazy. And um, thank you all for stopping by, man. It was an awesome experience. Three hours and five minutes. I enjoyed it. I loved it. It was great. Uh, we're going to do the same thing for, for Sony. When Sony comes out, we'll do the same thing for the, the Sony. The Sony experience. We'll do the same thing. And when the Xbox starts announcing um, the pre-orders for the uh, the Scarlet Project Scarlet Xbox Two, I don't think they're gonna call it Scarlet. I think they're gonna call it uh, Xbox Two, just like Scorpio. This is Project Scarlet, and then Xbox Two. Uh, that's what they're gonna call it. But when that happens, when that press conference conference happens, we'll do the same thing for that press conference. There's already a new Terminator game, Mario. It's called, uh, it's part of the Gears, Gears 5. It's going to be available on Gears 5. It's like a little uh, Easter egg you'll be able to play as Terminator. Like, you're going to be chased by Terminator. It's called the Escape. Uh, it's the new game mode, part of the Gears 5. So Gears 5 is going to be a lot of fun, man. I think you guys are going to love Gears 5. Well, there you have it, guys. That's it. That's all I have for you. Three hours and six minutes. That's all I got, man. Yeah, so it was great. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. And I'm very happy. I'm a happy camper. This is exactly what I wanted. And this is exactly what I've got. It's exactly the way I envisioned it. And I'm glad that this is the way it turned out to be. It's almost like Phil Spencer has been watching my videos secretly. Like, secretly, he's been watching my videos. Uh, and if he did, I'm glad that he did. So I'm glad that this is what we got. This was awesome. This is great news. 2020 holiday is going to be a kick-ass holiday. 2020 and beyond is going to be an awesome experience. Uh, so this is a great time to be alive, man. There's so many cool experiences out there, man. We're all going to be having a great time. But remember all. Yes, I want to say something else before I end this video. I got to make a statement before I end this video. Yes, it's important for us to have these experiences. Yes, it's important for us to enjoy all of this. But remember, the most essential golden rule. The most essential golden rule that people can easily lose themselves in their egos and forget. Easily. It's a two-way street. What is the two-way street? Two-way street is to respect. We all have to respect each other. The only way you gain the respect and you earn the respect is, is if you give respect to the opposite side of the road. It's a two-way street, not a one-way street. Okay, so remember that. 
the respect, it's a two-way street, not a one-way street. So as long as you can remember that, the respect is the essential, essential golden rule. All right, guys. Love you all. Take care. It's been fun. I loved it. Watch this. You guys can watch this later on. You can also watch my previous video that I did. Before I got shut down by uh, the lightning strike, <laughs> I did. That. I have that video too as well. You guys can check it out. So uh, it's great. Thank you, Giovanni Valle. Thank you all. There was way too many people. I mean, listen, just thank you all for stopping by. There was way too many people, man. I can't just name everybody. Uh, it would take me half an hour just to go through this entire, uh, you know, transcript. But thank you all for stopping by. It was awesome. And tomorrow I'll have a video regarding the Xbox Game Pass on the PC and the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate and why you should consider getting the Ultimate Game Pass. I think there's a great value in it, and I'll explain everything when I do that video tomorrow. All right. Other than that, thank you all for stopping by, and time to get my ass out of here. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've done those kind of videos. Uh, the light. I've never done this before. This is my first time. So... This was actually my first time doing this, and I will do the same thing for PlayStation Experience. You can count on it. It's going to be in 4K. It's going to be the same thing for the Sony. All right? Yes, I am. Kazuya! Mishima! I do! Do! Hi! All right, guys. I'm out of here. I'm outie. It's been a while since I've done this shit. I enjoyed it, loved it. Thank you all for stopping by. Love you all. Be good. Remember, respect each other. Respect will get you everywhere. Take care.